Jesus Christ. Who's this posting all these Spider Man pictures on our on our Instagram group? I think it's Peter <laughs> Parker. I mean, it, he has a uh, camera and all the pictures is about him. Well, no, it's the pictures about Spider Man. The pictures about Spider Man. Yeah. And who has the exclusive on Spider Man? Uh, that's Peter true. Parker. That is so true. I'm so I'm thinking hmm. You're right. You're right. I'm I think thinking he's a big fan. I think we need to get JJ Jameson uh, yeah, to go out there yes. and and sully the name of Spider Man like he normally does. <laughs> <laughs> My God, some of this stupid shit comes up. <laughs> makes me real angry for real. Seriously, it's like, dude, I laugh. I was just like, this fool. There's the yeah, but 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 you know, even when it's when it's that level of stupidity, you know, I mean, like I listen to it. I listen to Fox basically when I hear it. Yeah, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing Fox. Yeah, that's true. That is very <laughs> so. true. What's up, everyone? This is Arnaldo, aka Mad Dog, and this is going to be the real episode 125 of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. G G. I'm always thinking of something <laughs> smart to say, but nothing comes up. <laughs> So I have to default to the typical GG because there's nothing else. You should I probably mean. write an idea down and then just yeah, roll with it. <laughs> we should have we should have a change of format. Okay, so okay. we should start the episode mm-hmm. with the topic of the week. We've done this, and then <laughs> we continue <laughs> with. Yes, yes, we had an episode. I can't remember. Uh, listeners, tell us which the episode backwards it was. episode. It was a backwards episode. Well, let me ask you: Did it start with? Uh, it did not. Yeah. Oh, that wasted opportunity. Uh, you're right. You're absolutely I'm thinking right. we should have bacon pancakes at the very end. <laughs> sure. Yes, that'll throw everybody off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that this voice went backwards. Course. That voice, of course, is Mr. David Santos, aka Dream Twister. What is up, sir? Sir. Doing great. Having a fantastic beer over here, yes. which I am really enjoying. Yes, it's the little uh, bit that I have. Lagunitas uh, Little Something Ale. It's got a pretty little picture of a girl in front of it. She must be the little something. She must be the little <laughs> yeah. something. So cheers to that, sir. Cheers. Yeah. How do you definitely feel about something. That ale? This was good. This this one is, I, I got a little concerned a little bit because I thought it was going to be IPA-ish. <laughs> But then he had a different, yeah, IPA ish. I'm not a big fan of IPAs. <laughs> but, uh, I, hey, I still drink them. If, if you have them, I'll drink them. Hey, that's true. But that's uh, very slowly. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. In, sip, in, sip. In, no, actually, in big gulps. Oh, and then you get it. One up. big gulp, and then you just let it sit for a little while and come back to it. <laughs> Yes, because it, if there's a better way to enjoy an IPA, is when it's warm. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. That's not the way you want to have an IPA. The, the mm. colder, the better. Uh, guys, if this is your first time listening, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please go to goodgame.tech. Join the conversation there. We just had a member, a new member come in. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, also, if you're listening to this on iTunes, Google Play, or uh, who's the other one? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and share the podcast uh, with all your friends. Uh, or not. We don't give a... F- no, no. Actually, we said the enemies. So we're your enemies. Right. So yes. we can, say, can help we them do- come around. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's how we work. Exactly. That's how you uh, ask for forgiveness. It's called divide and conquer. We'll do, we'll do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it for you. There you go. Uh, what we normally do, guys, uh, is we go into what we have been up to and go into then some news items and finally finish with our hot topic of the week. This week's hot topic is... Should game companies curate their libraries? Uh, so tune in for that a little later on the show. But as always, we're going to start with what we always start with, and that is what have we been doing? Mr. David Santos. It's me. It's me time. What is up with you, bro? Bro. bro. Ne- le- yes, uh, yesterday. Last podcast, mm-hmm. we left it at. You had the opportunity to play uh, you know, Spider-Man. Yes. And it was, I believe it was released that same day, right? yeah. That, 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 fr- that, Friday, that Friday, like at midnight in the morning. Yeah, like exactly. You, exactly. That's what it was. And I played like an hour yeah. and a half, and I was very jealous because I didn't get the opportunity to play it until the uh, until the next day. And no, I couldn't play it until the day after. Uh, I've been playing. That's all I've been doing pretty <laughs> much this week. Nice, uh, with a few ex- notable exceptions. Oh, of course. Uh, Spider Man 
No, Marvel Spider Man. I believe that's the official name, right? Sure. Uh, no, <laughs> I call it Spider Man's PS4. Is what yeah, I call it. Spider Man PS4. <laughs> Spider Man, the one that you don't have on Xbox. Ah, uh, see, that's is, not, I wasn't going to say it that way. Well, I think I posted the reason why Although you're not getting Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> you guys had the opportunity to get Sunset Overdrive, a very awesome game from the same developers. No Xbox owner gave a crap about it. That's not true. We had a few people that posted that they that they enjoyed it i myself enjoyed it quite a bit and uh, but the game didn't sell and uh, and surprising because i believe insomnia was known for the um was it ratchet and clank ratchet and clank the resistance series series, exactly and suddenly making the jump to xbox felt like whoa really you know making this an exclusive acquisition and i mean they didn't acquire the company but the 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 exclusive game that's a great acquisition from xbox and that is clearly a nine five game you know uh that 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 you know so many people gave it's a shame um, and of course, I'll never get to play. Yeah. It. So I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the humor of it was kind of, <laughs> it was kind of like dad jokes. It was kind of, you know, not not as uh, as clever as they might have intended. Yeah, yeah. But it also has its cool, it mo- also, its cool, cool uh, moments, like the also, boss that will pick up the his health bar to hit you with it. Nice. You know, <laughs> breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, that's la, that's cool. Deadpool. I can do that. So no, but but so so coming back, so yeah, so I've been playing uh, Spider Man a lot. I've been enjoying the uh, story quite a bit. I know a lot of you uh, have been also playing it. Uh, be interesting. Uh, Post those pictures. What? Post, yeah, <laughs> apparently we have a Peter Parker oh, uh, in, yeah. in the group. You know, spamming the <laughs> Spider Man pictures hey, and it's, not it's playing not... the story. <laughs> This is true. He should really start playing the story. Yeah, he should really continue to play the story. So you know what the hell other thing that things happens. Uh, uh, a surprisingly interesting story. Spider Man, to as a hero, as a comic hero, has never been like my favorite uh, superhero because I always found like his superpower was kind of silly. It's like okay, so you're a you, you're a spider. You know, you, you're a man that has a. They, they can make a web. <laughs> you shoot Techni- web. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> technically, he doesn't shoot web. Those are no. those are designed by him. Yeah, well, he only just walks on walls. In the origin, <laughs> in the canonical, <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> wasn't there? Wasn't there one where he was literally shooting web? Uh, yeah, that was the, that was the Tommy McGuire one. But that's not that's that, that is <laughs> wow, not yes. that's actually not canonical. <laughs> <laughs> so we there there were always. Yeah, he, he, he yeah. was. See, he was. He has gadget. Correct. Well, he was. Yeah, because he's a. He was always meant to be a very brilliant young young mind and uh-huh. into science and all that. So he himself is the one who who made his web. Shooting. A very brilliant science that is broke. The the what? And the game. He's broke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's broke. always broke. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the that's the it's that's like, the beauty of of, really? of of Peter Parker is that he's a regular dude just having to pay bills like the rest of us or avoiding bills. Oh, like avoiding the rest bills. Of us, yeah. You know? And at the same time, he feels the 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 need to to be that hero that his uncle said, you know, that, you should, that famous you line, be, great, yeah. yeah, with great power comes great responsibility, and he's taking that to heart. And I think that's to me, oh my god, that is what I have, do. I've I've drank the Kool Aid on this game. <laughs> I'm just like. I I am well. Go ahead. You're the one talking. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. no. You you get your part. I let I let you speak to the. Uh, we should actually we should have made this a uh, uh, a spoiler cast, or we should make a spoiler cast at the very end. When yeah, we, yeah. When we we're done, there. definitely. But you know, but uh, as, as I was saying, not a, not a huge huge fan of Spider Man. You know, he he was cool, but not like. Gotcha. So uh, so 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 because another thing that I didn't like a lot that I don't like a lot is the villains of it has never been super interesting mm-hmm. uh, and so far in this game the villains that I have seen hasn't haven't been very interesting but it's cool because a it's kind of set it, it's setting up for what could become a really interesting franchise and yeah, I cannot I wait for what they do and the villains that they will bring mm-hmm. also the fact that they're taking some liberties with the storylines I believe you know, you see like the lab partner he's working with. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. almost see where things are going. And if, if you know the lore of Spider Man, you clearly see like, oh, okay, so this is a different take on mm-hmm. as you know slash origin story. Well, or origin of that particular villain. I'm, you know, might say because 
this game is not an origin story for, for Spider-Man. No, no, Everything's already established. As a matter of fact, it, it looks it like here had been established. It, it literally just uh, assumes you yeah. know who the hell Spider-Man mm-hmm. is. And when you really look at the numbers for Spider-Man movies and everything mm-hmm. else, most people know who the hell Spider-Man is. So yeah, by they, now, went, yeah. they took, they said, you know what? We're, they started the story in the middle. It's, yes. He's been Spider-Man. You know who he is. This is you know, And this is where he currently is. Go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I'm of two minds because... I am really enjoying this game, and uh, like really, I, I'm telling you, this is this is gonna be up there in in my in my yeah. list. Okay, you know, the story so far, I like. I don't know. It's it hasn't grabbed me. The story, yeah, okay. you know, the things with the the demons, you know, they call it which. I, Another silly term is that why are they called the demons? You know, why are they, you know, well, not the terrorists or the whatever is it that they stay, yeah. <laughs> it's I like, can't specifically stay with it. I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, they, it, the, the characters essentially are wearing a particular mask that are yeah. considered to be demons. Also, of a, yeah. Demons of a certain lore, you <laughs> yeah, know what no. I mean? So that's it's like, just silly <laughs> when they refer to, oh, this place got attacked by the demons, the demons again. Yeah. It's like, oh man, the demons really? Well, why not? I mean, if they have gangs that are, you know, hey, the if punk, they have a freaking the punk heads. swing a spider, <laughs> it might, you know, what's what's the there problem, go, right? Exactly. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, and, no, and, and by all means, this is not to criticize. I'm not saying the story is bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, so far where I am in the story, which I don't, you know, I, I'm not going to say not to spoil anything, but uh, I will, if I'll hazard a guess, like I'm of like 50%, it says, uh, of game completion. Of course, game completion is also taken into consideration all the activities that you do around the world. Correct. So 50%, and so far, not, you know, so that's not true. There's one part that got like interesting, but uh, I don't know how they're, how it's going to develop. So, that's the part where I can say, right in the middle of the game, where I can say, okay, there's a potential here for something that I really like. Mm. But I don't know yet. It's, it, it's still too early. Anyway, that, that's not here or there. MJ is uh, it's awful. I do not like her character at all, Mary Jane. This is probably my least favorite Mary Jane, <laughs> uh, including... Including uh, from the Tommy Maguire movies, I would definitely say <laughs> that Mary Jane has always been not a not very a great character, not a great actor. Um, so, and I'm including the ones from the Tommy Maguire and everything. So, um, <laughs> there has been opportunities to. Uh, oh, sorry. Go no, on, no. Go I was just gonna say she's she's always been just the just the That's an in distress kind of situation. Well, sort of. Um, here, obviously, they, they seem to want to give her a little bit more, but. I don't think it's very fleshed out so far. Again, right, I'm right. Already, it, yeah. it, it it feels like she she's daring. She mm-hmm. she she's ballsy. She will do yeah. stuff. It's just that the stuff that she gets into will not make sense for a human to be making. That's why I was also I was also saying I I, I believe uh, I was telling you about their relation. You know, her relationship with with, with Spider Man, and mm-hmm. I, I don't believe her. <laughs> she's not believable <laughs> as a human. Okay. <laughs> <Almost. laughs> <laughs> or if I can say why, I, I, I don't believe I know, it's a major yeah. spoiler or anything like that. I honestly, I don't think so. I mean, it's it's literally at the beginning of the game. You already yeah, it's a, it's know. A, it's, yeah. they're, they're they're not they're broken up. Yeah, yeah. They they you know, they're not they're not a couple. Uh, and I I think we had a conversation uh, that made sense as uh, so of the reason why. You know, they, yeah, they're, it's, you know, it's, they're broken it's, up. Correct, but their their interaction is um, it's not really believable for the situation that they're in. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least to 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 my opinion, and the way she reacts or the way she does things, like I'm all for the strong female leads. I I, I love seeing the 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 ladies from Uncharted. Oh my god, they were yeah. amazing. Chloe you know, and yeah, yeah, and even and even well, even um. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. on 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 Uncharted, you know, on the Uncharted series, you know, regular games. Uh, like I love her; she is a believable character. You know, she will, you know, and 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 she was strong willed, and she will do things. You know, and and that's not how I. There's an opportunity here to have a Mary Jane that is sort of like that, but I don't know if he's the person that they plays, or maybe that the the voice the voices her, or maybe the 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 animation the of her in particular, or? or maybe the writing. I don't know what it is, but I just like I don't care much about her, <laughs> you know. Which is opposite to to Spider to Peter Parker. He is I, I like it. I like it, his character. I like the 
uh, Dr. Octavius, mm-hmm. I really like him also. They're, these are believable characters put in situations where they're like, you know, they're going through the yeah, yeah. wrong, wrong they, patches. It, it, yeah, yeah. They, they're definitely. I, I, um, I, I agree she, she's one of the weaker I don't think she's the worst because mm-hmm. I think they were worse. Mm-hmm. Um, I do... I do find maybe what a lot of the things that she does. I mean, I know she's supposed to be a reporter, mm. um, and I don't ever recall her being a reporter, but I guess she's a reporter here. Mm. Um, and she's more of an investigative reporter, so she's kind of Lewis laning this a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, maybe I see where we're going with this. Um, as far as the, um, as far as anything else, I think she's you know she's fine she's just, to me so far she's not given a lot mm-hmm. uh i would love to see her be more uh more of a part of 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 his life but again again i also like the fact that they started right at the very beginning yeah. you know that oh we haven't been together for a yeah. while you know and i'm like that's awesome that's a perfect way it's like this mm-hmm. is because I, I think to the, to me personally that's why i see a little bit more real because people go through those things you know what mm-hmm. i mean you you go through your breakups you go through your separations um, doesn't mean anything changes. It just means you weren't, you know, it just it wasn't going to work for you at that point. And mm-hmm. it's also uh, happens in the movies as well. Um, and for the exact same reasons, you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, he's Spider-Man. Uh, and I get it that he has to be, you know, the hero. Yeah. But at the same time, she is a woman and a woman has their needs. You know, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, need, they need to be, you know, you need to pay a attention to her. But obviously that would probably make her feel very selfish oh, and feeling that you're, way you're leaving me again you gotta <laughs> yeah. fight the terrorists after i cook all this dinner what am i supposed to do that's what i'm saying so but you you can't you you know by the way i apologize if that's not super sexist that's not what that's not my intention my intention was to show that this particular character to me it feels like it's a little bit selfish if the reasons if the reason if we were to believe that the reasons why they broke up was because well he was always on call he you is, know because he's spider-man yeah. and they literally Obviously, they play around with that a little bit in the, in the game as well. But yeah, um, but yeah, well, I agree with you with Peter Parker. I fucking love Peter. Yeah, Parker. Peter Parker. <laughs> P- you know, Peter Parker is all right. You know, I I do like uh, I do like the character, and and I'm bringing and again. This is from a person that really not a a huge super fan of, of Spider Man. Like I think I have gotten a little bit more respect for that character by playing the game to mm-hmm. the point where I kind of want to revisit the, the 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 movie that came out. I did not okay. enjoy that movie. Yeah. Uh, the you know the last uh, Spider Man movie, Homecoming. Homecoming, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to revisit it. You know, revisit it again because I'm thinking that it's you know maybe I didn't enjoy it as much because I already have my uh, uh, my my thoughts of well this is not my favorite here. Yeah. You know while you know all oh, you know but you already tried doing other you know two other horrible Spider Man movies and you know this and that. So so yeah so I'm willing to to give it a go. But yeah definitely dude this is PS4 owners. Rejoice, obviously, you, you obviously yeah, yeah. this this is like God of War because I'm still not discounting and I and and I'm not ready to say you know I'm enjoying it more than God of War, uh, but this is definitely has to be in your uh, library in your. So, uh, well, I have a question and before before you move on to the next uh-huh. uh, uh, game, uh, but I also wanted to to quickly chime in because I'm not going to talk about it when it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically, I feel. Um, I think it's just so the game itself, first off, is so it's it rides on being so much fun. Uh, yeah. But on top of that, I think I've gotten a, a more respect uh, for the character itself because because you're playing at them. I realize this is this is exactly uh, this is exactly the, the superhero that he is has always been. And that is he can be in the middle of anything. Something happens. Police cars are running by and he's mm. gone. He's like, nope. My city needs me. I mm-hmm. I need to go help out, uh, and that plays so much into the game itself that it doesn't even bother me that I'm that I'm on my way to do something mm-hmm. and I stop to go. Oh wait, something's happening here. Let me go. Let me go kiss some ass real quick, mm-hmm. and then I'll just you know. And the game plays with that as well when characters are like, dude, I, you know, you're late. Yeah. You, you know, and I'm like, shit, you're right. Oh, let me go over there. Yeah. <laughs> and I think this has put me into this character so much more than any other uh, uh, superhero or game, whatever, that I'm just like, I want to do, I have not walked away from any uh, uh, emergency. Yeah. I like, if there's an emergency happens and I, and I do it happily because it's a lot of fun to do anyway. You know what I mean? I ran out of one <laughs> and it was because I was already dying. I was no way. I, I kept pressing, you know, press the dumb button, the, the dumb button to, uh, to, to, to the down, yeah. yeah, to heal the, yeah. the, the, the game that, D-pad, yeah, the D-pad, D-pad, thank you. And 
And I was, <laughs> I, I believe his sign was like, well, I guess the police is going to handle this one. <laughs> <laughs> he just left. He yeah. just, oh, I'm both, I, I'll do my stuff. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, the, I leave the police handle the, this. The record, the, the voice recordings that they did, they did several takes of several things, like mm-hmm. main storyline mm-hmm. recordings, just in case what you were doing at that moment. If you're standing at the top of a building on perch oh. and you're talking and it's in the middle of an actual main cutscene mm. or main whatever, uh, he's going to sound a certain way. But if you're swinging, he sounds like he's you know, breathing a little heavier because he's swinging. And I'm uh. like... That is freaking awesome. Uh, that is like some like really well thought out shit. Uh, and like you, for example, you, you know, you have the you have what he says during fights, but you ran away from a fight. And he's like, uh, they're gonna have to just handle yeah. this. You know, what I'm like, that's amazing. And that, you know and what that, I mean? And man, you, that's not a mission because you can fail missions and you'll get thrown back to. Yeah, you start from the beginning. But this, this this are the the the, the little calls for help that happen yeah. every now and then. There. That you are no obligation to do. I mean, you should because you, you're a freaking hero. Yeah, hello, you're Spider Man. Why you wouldn't exactly? Do that? <laughs> but uh, but if if you're booking it to another story, you know, another part of the story, uh, you can make a decision not to. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. uh, like I believe there was one case where oh, there was something happening and it was urgent, and because of the sense of urgency. I knew that, okay, you know, there is we a police eight, chase or something like that. On, uh, yeah, I started hearing that, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> the police get paid for a reason. Yeah. I need to do this. <laughs> I need to go because, you know, Mary Jane's cooking me dinner. Yeah. <laughs> something like that, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever the crisis is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I tell you, uh, I, I tell you, uh, another thing that, that, it, that might be, might be the reason why I, 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 I don't, Connect with the with the Spider Man, you know, you know, so much as a as a comic hero, is because he's too happy go lucky for my tasting heroes. Like he's always like it doesn't like there 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 are situations where unless a tragedy is not happening to him directly, everything's a joke. Uh, the, he he'll make a he he'll make a quip or or something. Yeah. And yes, those one liners are you know funny when delivered properly, but. When you're constantly on them, it kind it, it kind of gets, and at least he they address that in the game. Mm-hmm. I believe there's a point where he tries to make that type of comment to Octavius, who was really upset at something that happened, and Octavius like immediately looked at him like the you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. he gave him a, a stern look immediately, mm-hmm. a Luigi look. Yeah. <laughs> And he was like, and he was like, sorry, sorry, I tend yeah. to, uh, I tend to use this uh, defense mechanism. Def- yeah, I tend to use is, humor, tend to, something like that. Yeah, and 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 that, at least I, I was, I could appreciate that they, you know, they explain that because otherwise yeah. he just sounds like he's always, you know, he happy go lucky to say, everything. Yeah. And, and no, I, I can definitely, I can definitely understand. He's also when you look at his life, I mean. I mean, again, if you know the character well enough, you know he has he was he had a good family with Ben and 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 uh, and Aunt May, and they raised him to be right. And of course, he also had his his mm-hmm. parents that he knows. Um, he was raised in, in in a certain way where it's like okay, you can tell that he had a good upbringing. This is yeah. what he brings to 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 what he does. And yeah, he his does, parents were not murdered. Yeah, yeah, like Batman. Well, we don't know. Something happened to them. Oh, something <laughs> you know? happened to them. Yeah, yeah. but um. Them, right. But that said, the um the, the the fact that he is just you know he he does sort of use that to sort of it's almost Cold. like an it's almost like a a, a nervous laughter mm-hmm. you know when you're like you know you don't mean it's a, it's a, not a moment to laugh but you're so nervous that you giggle for whatever reason you know it's yeah. like it's it's one of those things where he can and, but he has and he's it, when it comes to characters I think he is the original. Uh, I don't say jokester, but definitely the one-liner guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, so from him, I can forgive it because I'm like he's he's been doing that for well, Deadpool's as high decades. Yeah. yeah. Well, before Deadpool, he's been doing that <laughs> for decades. Yeah, no, you know no, what no, I mean? No. So I, I, I know what you mean, and yeah. and and it is true. And it it again, this is not you know to say that he was <laughs> designed wrong or anything like that because obviously that was the intention of the comics from yeah, the beginning, yeah, yeah. and this paints it very well. This Perfectly. is very yep. very faithful. <laughs> Without sticking so much to the comics that you know that you don't have the the opportunity to get a little creative, yeah, you know, exactly. with with, exactly. with the story. So I am enjoying that. Now, let's talk about let's talk about gameplay elements because mm-hmm. the the game is fantastic. It, it's highly recommended, but it is derivative as hell. It is. It is. 
every, an open world it's game basically every all that, yeah, that every open world game that you have played <laughs> is is pretty much this one yeah it has yes. it has towers let's see let's see. so it has towers it has towers you know where you have to do, you have to go over it, which <laughs> essentially opens up map it opens up yeah, map yeah. It, it, which gives you a lot, a, a bunch of icon, Icons iconography. Of mm-hmm. You know, you look at the map and you just have a shitload of things to do and to carry. You have menial tasks because the tasks that you're doing, <laughs> yeah, uh, they're it's fun to do them. Mm-hmm. I'm not taking away, yeah, but they are menial. Okay. They are like, uh, like. <laughs> Rescue twelve doves or whatever the hell they are, for example, or twenty four, oh, yeah, whatever yeah, the yeah. amount. It's it's one little example yeah. <laughs> yeah. of the many menial tasks that that that, it, that oh I shouldn't say many, but of the few menial tasks. Yeah, the one with the cat, that, for yeah. example, that's another one that is like okay, this better get to something because so far all oh, I'm doing. Uh, okay, well, I got you. Yeah, where is like in shadow? You remember Shadow of Mortar? You you one of the icons that he has you do is go to a specific area on the map and then in Shadow of Mordor, I think you use a lens or something like a telescope, basically, and you start scanning the area uh, until you find something. Mm-hmm. And something that you're supposed to find. At that that point. you're supposed to find, exactly. Yeah. It, exactly. So it has that as well here. It has... Uh, it, it, and then... Although, I mean, they ha- like I'm saying, it has basically everything you would expect from a sandbox game, from an open world sandbox yeah. game. Um, it literally has all those things. From the type of games that you don't I really don't, like at I all. Really don't. Yeah, <laughs> generally, those type of tasks, those type of game, I don't like. And I've and I've had somebody ask me, so why is it you would play this, but you won't play this? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, because playing that, I'm not Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't, and I don't get to <laughs> it move comes and swing. To that. And do, yeah. I mean, that's really what it comes down to, because if it was a regular person doing these menial tasks, I would be like, this hey, is stupid. <laughs> how, uh, what, about, what about uh, Infamous? Infamous uh, was that? Infamous was uh, infamous. That was, that was really something else about infamous. I really didn't like. I there was so much happening on there the was one no island. There, were, it, there was no, no swinging. There was sliding. Yeah, there was, <laughs> there was sliding. sliding, on, no, and sliding the sliding on, was fun. It, not as fun as swinging. <laughs> <laughs> what is really? <laughs> <laughs> that leads me to my question, by the way. Okay. Uh, but for the record, yes, it does have a lot of those things. It's not. It doesn't overstay its welcome to me personally. Mm. And secondly, there's always little. Uh, story bits, uh, with, particularly with the b- picking up the of the backpacks. Mm. Um, every backpack has a moment, uh, like a, a, a memento, uh, and he has a little story to tell, and it kind of gives a little bit of a history of what's been going on. Mm. Uh, and on top of that, you use that to unlock stuff, uh, uh, you know, from from your power ups right. and all that. So, right. so each one of those things has a purpose. It's not yeah, like yeah. the Riddler. Uh, not like the Riddler trophies. It's, like, okay, it's not like the feathers in, in, in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> that, what do you do when you collect them all? Nothing. You get a trophy. You get an in-game trophy. You got 24... 24- Thousand feathers. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a chicken now. <laughs> yeah. Your question. The question is this, uh, Mr. Santos. Mm. Which is better? <laughs> uh, web swinging uh-huh. or getting a, a calling back the Leviathan X? Oh, <laughs> man. Wow. Calling, see, calling back the Leviathan X was amazing, but it's just... It's just a one. It's, it's, it's a one-trick pony, perhaps, but it is still awesome. It is time. still awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's just, yeah. it's just a something. I mean, what else would you do? Go to the hacks and pick it up. It's like the way they do it is yeah. actually it, it's cool. Let's put it this way: when you, when, when you recall the axe in a strategic way yeah. where it hits enemies yes. as it's coming back to you. It's amazing, mm-hmm. you know. It it is definitely is definitely a moment, especially later on uh, when you have other you know ways of fighting, um, where you can literally launch the axe that you know one direction to mm-hmm. take off some enemies, fight this way, mm-hmm. and when you see them nice and kind of lined up, you call the axe right you back, call them and back, just, and then it hits the yeah. other enemy. Oh, and, yeah, so good. And it tends to happen. Uh, a, a lot easier than it sounds, actually. So you yeah. almost makes you wonder if the game kind of not set set sets it up that way, so that you had that feel. And if it does, that's a fantastic thing to do. Uh, that said, when you're swinging, and not just swinging, because swinging by itself, I mean, we have have Spider Man games that swing, but when you swing with the momentum that this particular game does, where 
depending on the area that you are about to swing through, you might cannonball suddenly. Mm -hmm. You might, uh, you know, stiff yourself into like a like 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 a like a board yeah. to pass through, uh, through to to like a small tunnel, for example, and uh, you somersault and do those 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 crazy movements that it does. It never gets old. Yeah, it never gets old to the point where. I believe I have used the fast travel maybe twice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe twice. It has so, fast yeah. travel. You're not going to care. You're yeah, not going to need it. You're going to you're you're want to swing. It. It's not, it's not going to be far, yeah. uh, far anymore. So, yeah. well, the two, I'll have to say, you know, swing it to the... <laughs> swing it to the... Swing it to the... Chandelier. Beautiful New York. Swing it to the beautiful New York. Yeah. Oh, yes. Another... Like, I've heard people complaining a little bit about uh, how how... How drabby uh, the the your landscape uh, looks, and to those people, I wonder like, have you ever been to New York? <laughs> have like, you seen New York? New York looks just like this. It, it's I'm kind sorry. of yeah. yeah Actually, it's, probably it's a little brown, dirtier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know? I would say yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there are areas I had not. Hit, I, I believe the area of the of, of the map that you're supposed to that you're basically uh, that the game takes place is Manhattan, right? Yes. What we the equivalent of Manhattan, okay. So uh, it is Manhattan. It is Manhattan. Yeah, it has. Uh, oh, that's right. Landmarks. Yeah, they, they oh, don't yeah. they don't call it anything else. It's not Liberty City or anything. No, like no. That. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, wrong game. So there are uh, is where where is um where is Fifth Avenue? Fifth Avenue would be a main avenue, like right down the middle of the, of the. Is it Manhattan? Uh, uh, Manhattan, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I Just might, like a main avenue. I might have not. I might not seen that part yet because that, that part is colorful in real life, uh, or at least at night. Yeah, you probably have to go at night, and, and yeah. I don't know if they're going to include stuff that you know whatever. But, oh, the, but there yeah. is um there is the oh gosh what is it called? It lands on Park, but it, it's an avenue that literally splits apart uh -huh. to go around a huge building and come back together again on the other side, and it's a and then becomes a bridge that comes down to the main street. Oh yeah, I landed tunnel, on that yeah. street like by accident. I was just like, and I started looking around like. Wow, yeah, they did really well here. This is actually just what it looks this like. This is you know? cool, yeah. yeah so, yeah. so, so no, the, so the, no, the, it it is it it is great. It looks great at daytime, at nighttime. I love the fact that it has those uh, uh, those transitions, mm -hmm. you know, of, of time. Uh, so, so I I got no problem with the graphics. It also plays very well. It it's a solid thirty frames per second. It feels very good. Uh, I was a little concerned at. First, at the beginning, probably like my first or second uh, of second uh, fight, because I was thinking, oh man, this controls feel a little stiff when he's fighting. It's not that; it's that it is the Batman way of fighting, where you input the command, you dial the command, basically, and you kind of have to wait until he does it. Mm -hmm. It's not like an it's not like a automatic. Press the button immediately. It's hitting. Correct. Yeah. Is it's 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 the Batman effect where yeah. you you you're dialing in the, the 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 attack fast enough to where it doesn't feel like an like an issue once mm. you once you get your mind around that yeah. and you this dodge is, the same way. This is what I was saying uh, last week about the controls. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I said, the, the the fact that you hit O to counter when yeah. you know I'm used you to the triangle. Used to it, yeah, yeah. You're, you're even right. the swing. And I was like, at first, I was like, yeah, there's something I'm not doing right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now it's like. Now, nature, yeah, now, yeah. yeah, now I find myself having no problem. I was concerned when you mentioned, you know, uh, that you dodge with the, the circle, the yeah. circle <laughs> instead of the triangle, uh, like in Batman, yeah, and Shadow, <laughs> and Shadow. But, uh, but yeah, no, it it, it becomes a non issue. It, it does because my hand has to travel farther away when I'm fighting. It it does get to the point where, and this is me, just because I'm I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> my my arthritic hands are getting <laughs> they're turning into claws uh so they so it it's starting to hurt every now and then i have to stop playing i have to like do like this thing when i'm shaking my hand <laughs> so yeah man uh i think i mean i think that's that, that should be all yeah that's all I yeah we, we got all for for spider-man so but spider-man was not the only game uh, i played uh this week uh this week I had the pleasure of uh of trying the demo of Forza Horizon 4. Yes. Forza Horizon 4 demo is available now. Uh PC owners you could download it uh you know it's on Xbox as well. And man that <laughs> where where to begin? Uh, there's not there's not uh, you know a lot to you know a lot to say on it because again it's it's a demo but 
they give you it's a large it, it's it's kind of a longish demo mm-hmm. they give you enough to 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 show you like i was surprised i was i don't remember the demo for forza horizon 3 or forza 7 for that matter being you know allowing me to do you know so much uh but uh just just the feel of driving those vehicles again uh my understanding is that uh, at, on, on PC, obviously, you know the, the frame rate is whatever your PC can handle. Yeah, yeah. But on Xbox One X, you could actually play that game for the first time at full sixty frames per second. Uh, it wasn't it, sixty before. No, it was okay. thirty. Mm-hmm. It, it, that, that, that's a good point because Forza has always been sixty, mm-hmm. but Forza Horizon, because of the open nature the op- of the oh, okay. of the, of, sense, of the yeah. area, they couldn't lock it that at sixty. Uh, it, not even with the with the Xbox One X, they're doing it by not doing four K. So the game will go down to 1080p, uh, and but which is fine which because is fine. that's 1080p, great resolution. Yeah, yeah, 1080p 60 is still you know it's still gorgeous. That game is amazing. It has a very good soundtrack so far, and they, they don't put everything. They just put enough to get you. But I was <laughs> I know that I was chasming every song that was coming out of those because I was chasming it because I'm a big fan of, of the Forza Horizon series. Not so much of the Forza series itself, just the fun. Uh, festival feeling the fun racer that you know the, the you know the, the racing part yeah and what i mean uh it, it, it's funny in the sense that they do try different things they do change things up to to the point where like like you could be racing and suddenly you have uh there's motorcycles riding in front of you and i'm sure that, um, for those of you who might know what i'm talking about you've seen the demo uh and the motorcycles are leaving this trail of this, this colorful trail of dust so they're doing a, a colorful trail as they're passing by you kind of like it's it's almost like a celebration yeah, of the whole yeah. thing you know and 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 the, and the demo it actually does the transition towards the different um the different uh seasons oh nice okay so you start playing in autumn then you go to winter and then you go to uh spring and summer and and and, and it does it i i would not say it 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 is it it is uh, it is fast and it is smooth, but it's not what I was envisioning. What I was envisioning was you were racing and stuff was changing as you were racing, oh, okay. and it's not kinda really like, kind of like they presented at uh, E three. Well, no, in, in, in E three, see that's what makes you think. That's the way they presented in, in at E three is exactly how it happens. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, your mind thinks. Or or, or or is expecting the automatic, you know, changes where nothing is stopping. First of all, when I say it's not like it pauses or give you a load screen or anything like that. It doesn't. It actually does it beautifully. Like you, you, you're racing. Then at some point during the race, it cuts to like a side camera and you see your car swooping by. And of course, at that point, you know, your car is being out of control because what it's doing is it's transitioning the, the season. The, the season kind of like a wipe. Oh, nice. uh, okay. you know, or something like that, and and then you get you know, and then it presents you. It says fall or whatever, and then it shows you you know racing again. So it's very sm- it's smooth in that on, mm-hmm. on, on on that sense, but it does take away control yeah. while it's doing okay. that, I which I you know understand. Um, if I had, yeah, I would have expected the other one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It kind of the moment you said now, now that's not the way. It's, the, the way it's presented on E three is exactly how it happens. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the yeah. wipe. It's it's. But for some reason, you might kind of like immediately wants to think that oh, you know, you can do transitions in yeah. real life, in real time. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and it's okay because it doesn't. You know, it doesn't take anything away. The map looks like it's gonna be huge and really fun. Uh, the if if I have one one little thing to nitpick uh, uh, you know about it is the fact that i love that it's just a demo no well, <laughs> <laughs> that the game cannot come fast enough it's released on october 4 i think uh no that the that i i even though i really really like that they give it a a um living uh touch like most of the racing games, it always feels for some reason that you are racing in a vacuum. Like you're racing in a world of cars. <laughs> in a world of cars, like the, like the Pixar. You know, where oh, my God, cars. You, yeah. are okay. the, you are the car. There's, there might be a silhouette of a human driving, but it's, it's like a mannequin. Really, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, <laughs> it's like a mannequin. So, <laughs> so it always feels, if, 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 you know, those games feel empty. Uh, this one it does a good job of giving you 
you know, people, you know, uh, the people walking around. Oh, really? Okay. There, there, there are, you know, so, so it's a little bit more of a livable space. Now, the problem I have is that the, the, the characters, the, the, the animation of the characters is horrendous. <laughs> oh, wow, really? The, the, the way that it's, it's your typical... <laughs> now you're like, you know what, never mind, I don't need the people. <laughs> it's, yeah, it looks it looks yeah. so bad. Oh, it, wow. it looks like the... It, um, I mean, okay. Does it look like... Does it look Maybe like I'm the, exaggerating a little bit, but let me put... Wait, the, wait, does it look like the characters back in the day that, you, that used to be in the in the stands in a football no, game? No, 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 not that. <laughs> not, not, the, not, not the empty... Not, no, no, I'm talking about... Because these are, these, are these are characters that move around and they okay. talk to you and... And you know they introduce you. To, you also create your cat, your your character, or select from characters. That I, I think in the demo you select. I don't know if you can actually create one, mm. um, but you select from uh, like in Forza Three. You select from uh, from a, a diversity group, oh, a very wow, diverse okay. group. Okay. You know, so so you select uh, you know your character. And your character animates poorly. It it, it looks kind of. You know what it reminds me of, honestly. <laughs> Mass Effect uh, Andromeda, that mm. the, you know those characters. I, I would not, you know, it's it's bad for Mass Effect Andromeda, but I'm not saying you know it's, they're not carton, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's, but it's like that. It's oh, wow. you know those life, you know those uh, lifeless eyes when they're supposed to be talking to each other, but it almost looks like like they're looking into the ether, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not very it's not very good. It's not wow. very good. I I appreciate that they're giving it that touch and and the the character animations, you know, that I appreciate the fact that they're bringing it, but you can see that that's not their forte mm-hmm. for Forza. Definitely. <laughs> you know, so or or either that or I'm hoping that this is just hey, we're trying to save on space for the demo for downloading the demo. And therefore, we're giving you the downrest people. Down yeah. people. Yeah, I'm hope- I doubt it, yeah. honestly, because everything else looks super gorgeous, super high, you know, high end. So yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> but other than that, that's, I mean, that, I'm okay with that. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna be racing those cars. I cannot wait. I might have actually dropped a hundred. Oh, not I haven't yet. But that's my plan. As soon as I get paid, <laughs> I will buy the the ninety nine, you know, ninety nine, the, the hundred dollar new version, which mm-hmm. uh, com- because it comes with the you know with the season pass and the season pass for Forza Horizon three was really good, nice. and this one is it's sounding like it's gonna be really good as well. They already announced that they're gonna have James Bond, yes, you know, the mm-hmm. cars of James Bond, and I don't think even that's even the the full. That, I think that's a downloadable because 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 the game does have its downloadable pieces, mm-hmm. and then it has their full expansions. They had two, and they have a bunch of downloadable pieces, you know, in the lifetime of Forza Horizon Three. So I'm thinking that James Bond is not even a full fledged thing. It might just be one of the downloadables. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna have you know whatever is the the real thing. Uh, massive, you know, the, the Halo, the, the the Halo thing, it's going to be there, the Halo download. Yes. I don't know if it's downloadable. I think it's a portion of the game, you know, that should be very interesting to look. I can't, can't wait, you know. <laughs> also, the $100 uh, oh, version allows me to play like four days earlier. So. <laughs> Which and is, I will have Which is definitely it. worth the price of admission. Forza is one of my most anticipated games of this, uh, of this, uh, yeah, this year. And I think that's that's everything else. I think. Oh well, I, I played a little bit more uh, Destiny Two, mm-hmm. uh, uh, enjoying that uh, quite a bit. I really, really like that uh, that Forsaken uh, expansion. But this is not the time for me to be spending on it because, of course, Spidey. Yeah, it's on. Priorities. And then Forza. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. At, at one point, we'll, I will we'll go back. See, we'll see. If we go back. At one to point, Destiny. I'll go back and I'll go back happily because <laughs> that game that game is all right. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I've uh, I already mentioned I've been playing Spider Man, so I won't get into that. Um, I really haven't played anything else. <laughs> All right, so uh, um, let's but I get to the new. <laughs> but I do want to real quick say I am in the midway point of my rewatch of Game of Thrones, <laughs> and let me tell you, sir. That show is freaking great, dude. <laughs> so that, that, that is that show all, is from the moment so you sat here, awesome, dude. Uh, when you got here, you, you and my wife have been like nonstop talking about this uh, about Game of Thrones. And, it and, is, and, oh my 
god! Like, she, oh, like she's even also with the doing current re- live events. Yeah, she's also doing uh, doing a rewatch. Yes, yes, and we are talking about it. Like like this is the first time we've seen it. You yeah. know what I mean? uh, but no, like I was amazed because I'm like I don't remember half of those things <laughs> that, that, that they're mentioning. And I've read the books and yeah. I've seen the series uh, the series until a point. Yeah. So I, I might um, I might have to pick this up again. I, I think I you should. Off. I really really I think you should. Probably, yes, from where you left off. Um, you know, she can probably fill you in if you forget something or something like that. Yeah. Um, but definitely because this uh, winter's coming, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, winter's coming. Winter's not coming to you know, 2019. I have plenty of time. It, it, yeah. it, it is known. I'm just saying, <laughs> it is known. <laughs> That's all you I know. Have nothing to say. just now. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, really, we're falling back to that. <laughs> we're falling back to I that, know. sir. But I, I think you also saw a movie. Did I? Yeah, I've all seen the movie. <laughs> it might not have been. It might not. Know, oh it, yes, it yes, might yes. not have not That's done anything right. for you. Wait. But you see, see a movie. I and did I, see it. But I've it was been actually... dying to hear what you what you think of it. <laughs> I saw it actually it before, before last Friday. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I, I forgot mentioned. to ask you. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. My so apologies. Now, now uh, it's, I did remember see even less the movie. No, I remember. Uh, I did see the movie Upgrade. You saw Upgrade. Yes, one of the movies that I told you, dude. Yeah, yeah. You need to watch it. You need to watch it. I'm not saying that it's a ten out of ten or anything like that. I'm just saying you need to watch it. Uh, I did see it, and frankly, it's it's definitely a solid eight, bro. It's a That's solid good. eight. Yeah, movie. right. Yeah. Um, I, I, <laughs> You're meeting me right there, buddy. We're, we're right here. Yeah. We're right here. It I is, agree. Is uh, dude? It's one of those things that it it becomes graphic, like, like <laughs> just yes. out of the blue. You know, just like you know, because you see the trailer, and it's like, okay, it's gonna. But no, it takes it to <laughs> to points where you're like, damn, damn. Yeah, you know, this is like eighties, you yeah, know, movie exactly, graphic. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you if you don't recall what this is, essentially a guy who ends up being a, like a paraplegic because uh, because his uh, his wife and him were attacked, um, and they basically he, he was left crippled. Uh, and there's this, this scientist, very uh, Elon Musk like. Yes, very <laughs> Elon Musk. Uh, yeah. He 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 has this chip where he essentially says, "I can give you back what you what you need." Um, here's what you do. You know, and he basically surgically implants it into his spine, and he now has full function function uh, uh, of his body again, mm. uh, but at a cost. Mm-hmm. The chip itself is a. Um, an it's a yes, an AI program, um, and I won't, I won't go into into details mm-hmm. past that. But obviously, the program says, "Guess what? You know, we can find out who did this to you." Blah 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 blah, blah. Mm-hmm. and it leads to insanity. <laughs> it leads to insanity <laughs> yeah, yeah. and to an insane ending. Also, yes, I <laughs> freaking love it, and yes. I watched it, and I was going, "Wait a minute, yeah. this is not an ending that David would like." What yeah, the hell yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, props, bro. It was. An- <laughs> It was Absolutely. it was the type of ending that that raised at a point because yeah. so far I was like this is entertaining this is enjoyable this is a you know uh, this is a seven you know I'm 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 having a good time here at the at the theater you know it's not it's not like the most amazing thing I've seen but you know it's cool it, it does have some funny uh, it has f- funny in the sense of actually legitimately humorous, humorous yeah. but also you know funny in the sense of oh shit look at this fighting thing like. Yeah. When when basically the machine is basically taking over and fighting, you know, this, he looks this very bad guy. robotic, yeah, <laughs> and he's not like it, he's basically a, a puppet, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's hilarious. It, and it, he's it's very hilarious. good at it. Um, and it but, becomes it, 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 just like you say, it's very graphic. Yeah, yeah, it's very graphic. It does have uh like early what you would consider early cyberpunk before cyberpunk becomes yes. cyberpunk you yeah. know what i mean so i'm like <laughs> nice um but yes and then the ending of course is the like, ending was that what was brought like, it to this an this is exactly what you want yeah you know and i'm like this is what this is the t- f- f- to be fair Ruka, right. and i'm not always telling us for the ending but these are the type of uh endings that i like it's just give me something that you're not expecting right you know what I'm saying? Yeah. this is exactly what you want you can't always have the oh and things were just fine you know? yeah, yeah no if that's what yeah, is, yeah. if that's what you're expecting or oh well, things became way, shit yeah. if that's what you're expecting correct yeah, just yeah. play with my expectation give me exactly. give me a cool reveal or exactly. something like that exactly. yeah that that's what I'm well, and, that's what and so that's about. that's why I'm like okay th- th- this was it, it it took it it basically put it up I was like that and I actually watched it with uh with uh with people and we were all like into it you know yeah like, yeah. Yeah. yeah 
have see i don't have bad taste all the time first right? off i never said you had bad taste. no but you know, I, you only, were, I only say that because you don't like certain things every and time that's because you have bad taste <laughs> well, yeah i don't i don't like the art house movie see i don't have to call them fruit fruit anymore thank so god. be glad thank god be glad <laughs> i'll call it the art house movies i'm not a big fan but something like this you gotta believe that now the second now you have stepped <laughs> you have you have taken a step now the second step you need to take Pain and Game. Oh, okay. you gotta watch Pain and Game. That, uh, and pain, that one, pain, watch it with people. Pain watch it with people. Like, why well, everybody's seen it? That's why. Oh, I okay. Watch it. Yeah. Um, pain and Gain. Uh, I think it came with a caveat that you needed to watch Pulp Fiction. If I'm not mistaken, that was. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, you know what? Okay. That, that needs to deal, happen. Sir. Deal. That needs to happen. <laughs> deal. Yeah. Right. Well, that's it. Stop <laughs> screaming, uh, Hilberto. I'm gonna watch it. You, you can relax now. I'm gonna watch it. It's gonna happen <laughs> eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> And, and uh, let me know what you think of uh, of uh, Pain and Gain, Gilberto. I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's, yeah, he's a movie kind of suit. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. That's all I've been doing. I'm Buster. Buster Scruggs. You're shooting iron work. Appears to do, yes. Then we're back, guys, and we're going to go into, wait a minute, our what? trailer of the week. Oh, the trailer of the week. The trailer ah, of the week. Yeah, the other toad. The gotcha. other toad. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Well done, sir. I like that. Uh, trailer of the week, guys, is a little film called The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I almost, <laughs> I want to, I, I want to see anything that starts with The Ballad the- of because they're it's always, always good. great. Yeah. They're always great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Grand Theft Auto 4 had the Ballad of Gay Tony. That's right. One uh, of arguably the, one of the best Grand Theft Auto games. Everyone there are. says that. Yes. Every, I didn't play. I play a little bit of, of the main story, but I've never played the, uh, any of the DLCs. But everyone, yes. like, literally says that Ballad of Gay Tony is of Gay freaking Tony awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. But no, this is the Ballad of uh, Scruggs, <laughs> Buster Scruggs. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we just saw the trailer. It's a film that will be coming to Netflix and will be in some theaters on November sixteenth. Can mm. you believe that? Mm. That's interesting because I don't think I don't think I've seen a case where movies start coming out. Hey, this is gonna be a Netflix, but also it may be playing on um, AMC theater no. or all the all the Netflix original uh, stuff. Uh, does not. It well, normally just oh. comes to uh, Netflix. That's so it. you know yeah. there's something special here. I have to agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw the trailer and, at, you know, at, at first it shows, you know, it's about cowboys and stuff like that. And we already know how I feel about cowboys yeah. and, <laughs> and horses, horses yeah. and stuff like that. But, like, it only took two seconds to take away any skepticism <laughs> because it looks awesome. Yeah, it, it, it looks so like- yeah, it, 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 we were both speechless. No, um, it, it, it made like the trailer itself make a fantastic use of color. Yes, like this, that it, it there, there is something almost. Um, how would you how, how would you describe that? That the use of colors that is it's very vibrant. Vibrant, yeah. It's, it's um, very vibrant. The cinematography on yeah. it is is you can tell. Well, this is first off coming from uh, the Coen Brothers, which are. Renowned for being, you know, one of the one of the top notch uh, filmmakers, mm. um, and they've they're they've done well. Here, I can actually uh, they've done. Maybe you've uh, watched this No Country for Old Men, which I've mm. seen, which is more of a gritty, very gritty, uh, almost like an eighties western, but not mm. western. It's just like takes place in a town, but mm. it's very good. It has uh, Tommy Lee Jones in it. Uh, oh, wow. It has um, the guy who plays. I can't think of his name now, but he he plays. He voices. Um, Thanos. Uh, he also plays oh. Cable, the guy who plays yeah. Cable. Basically, um, he they did uh, True Grit, the remake of True Grit, uh, which has uh, Obadiah Stane, but I can't remember his real name. Jeffrey Jeff something. I'm the I'm the last person to have <laughs> yeah, about names I'm, of I'm, I'm, actors. I'm, I'm and snapping my fingers. I know you're you frustrated. Know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I mean, there are people that are yes. telling you right now on the yes. podcast. Yeah, yeah. They're you know, screaming at the their podcast. Uh, thing, yeah. yeah, but uh, no. So they've done a, a lot of. The, they did Fargo. Fargo's great. Fargo's actually a gritty uh, story, but has comedy in it. So it's more of a dark comedy type of mm. thing. Whereas like 
I probably shouldn't be laughing at this, <laughs> but well, well, you it's know, hilarious. yeah. Um, but uh, but you can tell that's kind of where they're going with this. Is one. it like a level like a natural born killers level of? It's uh, well, of maybe great and funny. <clears throat> yeah, dark humor? It, yeah, dark humor like that basically. Um, although that one is out there, and yeah, that the, yeah, the movie's not out there. That's Oliver Stone because he's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, um, so this one actually looks. This is actually an anthology is meant to be a series uh, of short films that they were going to release on Netflix. Uh, and halfway through the production, they just put it together. So we'll just release it as a this film. Is, this is too good. <clears throat> yeah, just put it all together, release it as a film. And um, it looks it looks like it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And it really looks like it's well done. So so is it, So at the end, it, but it's still going to be like the divided set of stories taking place on the on the on the you know cowboy setting or correct, on a correct. western well, setting. I should, yeah. I should say. From what, from I'm, what I'm able to to look up and find out, it's uh, yeah, basically uh, like I want to say nine. Uh, stories set in the West, um, okay. told by a specific character, maybe narrated, um, and you can tell that there's several different things going. Just from the trailer, you can tell there's several things, different things. I'm like, I don't think this is all one thing, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, so, I see. I didn't think that when I saw no? it. Oh, okay. when I, when I saw it, it looks like it was a cohesive thing. Mm. Right? I, I couldn't find. I mean, yes, there there was some parts where it's like, oh, okay, so I guess it took a turn to the funny here. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but, <laughs> There's one character yeah. who's 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 dressed up all in white. And he's yeah, in, only white. He's on the old west, yeah. and like everybody else, super is, clean. Yeah, <laughs> and he looks kind of dopey yeah. almost. But <laughs> although I guess. he also looks kind of like he's you know he kind of knows what he's doing too. So which, yeah. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost makes me, uh, almost makes me wish like it was uh, one whole cohesive story because then it'll be cool to have that character throughout. You know, the no, yeah. Maybe, even if it's not about him, but mm-hmm. just having him around. Uh, oh, absolutely! Yeah, it look, it look it looks fun. It does look good. Uh, so it's going to be star. It's oh, I'm sorry. It's six different stories. Uh, six different stories are going to be starring uh, James Franco, uh, Brendan Gleeson, Zoe Kazan, Liam Neeson, Tim Blake Nelson, and Tom Waits, and apparently many many others. Uh, so yeah, I'll post it in the group so you can guys check it out because I. <laughs> so, I saw it. I was like, "Ooh, I'm yeah, so down for this." That. Yeah, yeah. As a little bit, I saw. I was like, "Okay, this, I'm not missing this one." And it's gonna be a Netflix. I'm just saying, it's gonna yeah. be a Netflix. <laughs> I mean, you don't you don't need Movie Pass for this one. Although, <laughs> if you have Movie Pass, it will be in the theaters too. For you. <laughs> just in case, you might not need Movie Pass for anything. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. The so, Ballad of uh, Repeat Again. Uh, it is the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. That's right. Yeah. All right, so let's get into uh, some news, guys. Uh, probably the biggest news of the week was a Nintendo Direct that happened yesterday. Uh, That's episode. a lot of things that came out on Nintendo Press, yeah. Yeah, a lot of little uh, news items. Uh, I mean, I don't know if all of them we can go over right now, but we can definitely fly through yeah, the these. interesting ones. Uh, first off, the one that's... Uh, not the one, but one of the ones that caught me a little... Like, who... <laughs> Where else are these going to go? Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy IX, and Final Fantasy X will all be coming to the Switch. Final Fantasy X, one of the favorites I hear. <laughs> Final Fantasy X, yes, definitely. You know, the one that fakes the Final Fantasy. <laughs> no, sure. I can't, I can't continue. <laughs> I can't. Not even as a joke. Not even as a joke, Too yes. Too cruel. Ha, 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 Final ha, Fantasy ha. 12, the Zodiac Age, will also be coming to Nintendo Switch, and that'll be next year. Uh, they also announced a special Super Smash Brothers Ultimate S- Nintendo Switch console. Uh, I don't that know. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty. I, don't yeah. know. I was like, okay, that's and cool. it's probably. Pri- I mean, it doesn't look crazily priced either. The well, no, it's going to be. Isn't it two ninety nine? Well, it has a game also, so I think it's a little bit more, but it's not crazy. Like, it's not, a, you know, just because it's a special edition console, they're not asking for four hundred or anything like that, oh, which okay. is what I thought it was going to oh, go. Oh wow, okay, they were going to go for. Uh, then the uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate's new character will be Isabel uh, from Animal Crossing. Uh, any Animal Crossing fans will probably recognize that. Uh, yes. Cities Skylines is going to be available actually yesterday on Nintendo Switch. I, I was surprised oh, not yeah. on, that, on, on that one. 
Yeah, the the fact that it would run on the switch. No, <laughs> no, the fact that well, not not so much that the the it will run because the game it, it's it, it. I mean, it has good graphics and all that, but I don't think it's like super super intensive. More like how would how the it's it's a very P, it's a very PC game. It's a very you know clicky uh, game. You're basically it's SimCity. It is. Mm-hmm. It is what Sims. You remember the the Sims City reboot, yeah. reboot that came out that was garbage from yeah. EA because of course yes. it came out from EA uh, and Maxis. Yes. No, this is the th- this is what Sim City should have been. What we were all waiting for when we got to that atrocity that came out, and it is amazing. Mm-hmm. It is everything you hope for uh, for it to be, and it, they're continuing to develop. They continue to add more content to it. Seeing it on uh, on the Switch is awesome because it obviously reach more people. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I almost wonder, like, how would the interface be? Yeah, like, I, I was the, thinking. I was like, the interface is touch. I mean, the interface of the Switch, is, you know, there is touch screen, but I don't know if it's enough to. I mean, not that it has to be super precise. I'm not saying that. Yeah, it's just yeah. it, I'm curious of because another another one that that was announced that I'm also very curious of how it's gonna. Uh, how, how it's gonna work is Civilization Six. A Civ Six, yes. Yeah, that Civilization was... Six. We all, uh, I, I believe, it was uh, last podcast, if not previous one, yeah. we talked about Civ Revolution, Revolution, where it was a different type of Civ game, specialized for consoles that worked great with consoles. But Civ Six is an, again another PC ass PC game, bringing it to consoles. Are we interested in knowing how the controls will be? Yeah, because he could. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It needs to be a proper interface, otherwise, people are gonna get bored. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, another announcement out of the 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 direct. Excuse me, uh, L- Luigi's Mansion Three uh, is coming to the Switch. Wait a minute, respect the dead. Luigi's dead. Come on. <laughs> Well, Luigi, we uh, uh, all saw what happened the ultimate demise i did see that yes. but you know are you telling me that he's turning into a ghost now no but it's possible fake news is the thing ah, you know I mean? so it possibly it's, never happened correct yeah gotcha. could have been uh you know some sort of movie magic that yes. they do. it's possible yeah <laughs> uh kirby's epic yarn is coming to the 3ds kirby's epic yarn yeah <laughs> also coming to 3ds is bowser's inside story well to 3ds or coming from p it's coming to 3ds in january the 3DS lives, guys. Wait, but wasn't that game out on 3DS already? Bowser's Inside Story? Uh, let's see. Along with the Untold Bowser Jr. Saga, let's see. Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story Plus. Plus. Uh, Bowser's Jr. Journey is coming to 3DS January 19th. I thought that game was out. Or, okay, maybe it's With uh, a new chapter. Maybe it is. Uh, oh, it's a DS re-release. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so it's coming well, from the DS to the 3DS. Seriously, guys, you have a Switch. <laughs> just put shit on the Switch. Dude, there, <laughs> Mario Mario Brothers, uh, Mario Brothers U, Mario, yeah. Mario U, whatever yeah. it was called, is coming to the Switch. <laughs> so there, uh, <laughs> if anything, I'm I'm glad that games are coming to the Switch. Obviously, and especially those Wii U uh, games that not a lot of people got to play because nobody really owned a Wii U. Um, it's it's, it's good that they're having a second life here on the on the Wii, but like lately there is a ton of titles coming to the you know to the Switch, uh, yeah, and and you almost wonder like okay so is this gonna become like the second hand you know the games I don't want to come and show or anything like that first because no, no, yeah. I don't I, I mean I, first off they're first party so well I don't want to yeah. offend uh, Jason <laughs> oh <laughs> so, okay okay but second. Uh, because they are they're older games, they are they, you know they're substantially old in, in some cases, mm-hmm. and they're coming to to the Switch with added stuff. You know, uh, you might have heard also that the the Switch Online is finally happening. Yeah, uh, well, that was one of the. If you want to go ahead and jump, no, in. no, no, you yeah. go, you got you got. Yeah, Switch Online has been announced. Let me go back to that uh, particular news item there because I had it separate for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it has been announced, and it launches September 18th. That is four days from today. We are the 14th. Uh, final details on the Nintendo's new online service uh, were also uh, mentioned, uh, one of which it will, of course, cl- uh, course, cloud saves. It will be able to play uh, 20 different Nintendo Entertainment System games at launch, uh, although I don't think the entire library has been announced or shown. Um now, 
cloud saves were the topic of debate throughout the week. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, apparently, not all games are going to include cloud saves. <laughs> um, why is that, sir? <laughs> Maybe well, you know, I because I sure know. Yeah. You don't want to... You don't want to have people cheating on games uh, like it happens rampantly on Xbox and PlayStation, which those consoles curses those consoles that have the the dreaded cloud saves. The cloud you know, saves. They're evil. They're, uh, they're, <laughs> they, they are a gadget from the devil. <laughs> no, dude, I don't know. It is it when the announce the announcement was made that that. Uh, games were gonna have cloud. Some games were going to have cloud save. Not all of them. You can't depend on all of them having cloud save. Uh, considering there are some games, some some particular some particular games that you will want to have to make sure you have cloud saves. Uh, I.e., um, Dark Souls, mm-hmm. which you know is coming to the Switch, for example. Uh, they won't have this 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 feature. I would think. I don't know what the status with Zelda, but Zelda is a game that people have spent. You know, can't is like like two hundred plus hours, you know, on it, and mm-hmm. to lose a save to it, whether it's to a corruption or to just Accidental getting your switch and phone, or, or, yeah, yeah. yeah, anything, mm-hmm. like, anything like that will suck. Will really, you know, will suck. And and for some reason, we're not guaranteed that we're gonna have that, you know, that feature, that basic feature of online. Mm-hmm. Which again, like Nintendo, what's happening? Uh, that you can't get your shit together when it comes to online, <laughs> you know. Because appa- appa- baby steps, maybe. <laughs> no, but I mean, they are at this point they are stuck on the PlayStation Two era. You know, this is they, 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 they're charging for it. Mm-hmm. They're gonna start charging for it, of course. And they 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 have very few games that maybe people won't be interested in playing as Splatoon. People might still continue playing, you know, playing that. That's Nobody's going to care. That's one I think that's not going to have it early on, right? That Right. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, the other one uh, will be, uh, of course, the Mario Karts and um, and playing. And I don't know if, uh, if, if uh, Smash Brothers, I mean, Smash Brothers, obviously, you yeah, you can play online, but I feel like that game... To get the best out of that game, you it, it's couch co-op. Yeah, it's, I agree. You know, all, yeah. All, all of y'all yeah. together. Got to be in the same, same room. room. Yeah. Got to be talking shit. Yeah, but it's another game that will have it. If you're going to be um, offering a, po- a full pay service and just leave it, I don't know. It feels like it's too bare mm-hmm. for even the $20 that they, that they charge you, which is not much. It's not much. But, and you are obviously getting what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, but, I kinda, um, yeah, you kind of little uh, Another wrinkle in the um, possible cloud saves. Uh, Nintendo Switch cloud saves may be lost if online subscription lapses. See, that's uh, some bullshit. Yeah. Right that <laughs> yeah. is ridiculous. Uh, so they finally announced that it's rolling out. And on their FAQ uh, section from the Nintendo Switch, this is, this is right off of that. Uh, it's implied that if it comes out, you may it maybe lose a state. Uh, this this is right off of there. Save data stored via the Save Data Cloud Backup is available as long as you have the active Nintendo Switch Online membership. Classic games in the NES, Nintendo Switch Online Collection, and the save data for those games will not be removed unless the user chooses to do so manually. These items are stored locally on the Switch systems, but cannot be accessed without a Nintendo Switch online membership so wait so they're holding your save game hostage uh it kind of sounds like that oh no no for you to put your put your uh, uh as you know you know playstation and xbox obviously have uh you know backups in place uh should you lose your uh stuff but uh they of course this is from polygon and they reached out to nintendo for further information and they said we have nothing to announce on this topic <laughs> See, that is so garbage because if if I, this is the reason why you, why I, I I don't feel like sometimes I feel like your system is not being reliable. I mean, your system is completely capable. You're not making it reliable because you're not gonna tell me that you're setting it up for failure too. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm obligated to be paying this amount. That's there's gotta be something. We ought to do more investigation on this to make sure that we're not misinterpreting the word of that. Because the, yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely we. If can. they're saying, if they're saying. Hey, you can save your games. We'll hold them. It sounded as like long as you're paying. If you don't have, if you lapse your service, what it sounds like is now that save data gets saved to your to your Nintendo Switch. Okay. So. Okay, so I can expect that. Yes. 
Uh, right, however, so depending on the the str- the network, you uh-huh. know, what if it doesn't get saved to your because it's obviously saved to the cloud. Yeah, right. You know, what I'm saying what if it, the transfer doesn't happen? Ideally, you, you know? want to. Ha- ideally, you want to have. You want to have uh, your real copy and then a backup. That's backup. why they call it backups. Mm-hmm. <laughs> back in, not backing up to the cloud. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about I, it. The, either, the, thing, yeah. the thing that got me the, the the thing that got me that day was you know I kind of knew that the Nintendo Online uh, program was going to be crap, mm-hmm. but just the, B, the 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 BS excuses that they tend to use yeah. to try to justify does, yeah. their shortfalls, like oh you know they they can't. The, uh, we we don't want we don't want people cheating, you know, and uh, it's, it's, still, it's like, I'm like how, on, do, how does anybody else do this? Then I mean, yeah. I mean how does it happen on the other consoles? Then yeah, yeah. I'm like, is it happening there? Also, I haven't heard yeah. anything about. <laughs> you know, that's so I'm like, uh, yeah. And but people, I guess they it, don't want to. They don't want to have a network that's that. You know, I don't know that that, that advanced. They don't that's want. Which is yeah, why they that's what I'm you're thinking. Only paying I'm bucks thinking a more. Year. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking all more like okay, this whole thing is probably being handled by a PC somewhere in the desk of some intern, rather than a server farm. You know, like, <laughs> as it uh, should be, like yes. it, like it should be. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, f- a final few items here. Um, Pokemon Team uh, next game is called is a monster RPG called t- the Town or just Town? It's just called Town. <laughs> um okay Town. and uh Project classic Town. nes controllers come to the switch um mm. however they only work for nintendo switch online Lols. nes games <laughs> <laughs> what of the course. fuck <laughs> of course i mean mind you i bought uh, <laughs> I, I bought and returned this is ridiculous an nes controller for the switch that was perfectly capable of playing any game that i threw on it the only reason the only reason I, I returned it was because I kind of just wanted to. I didn't need it. I I was just too curious. I tried it with the with the switch, uh, and it worked. And it and it was shaped like a, actually it was switch. It was shaped like a Super Nintendo controller. Actually, mm-hmm. you can pick off the fa- the Super Famicom or the Super Nintendo uh, versions of it, and they look fantastic. And and uh, and you're gonna tell me now that. <laughs> Over here, only works for that service. Meaning, you cannot play Breath of the Wild with this uh, controller. Although you're uh, probably going to need some additional well, buttons, but uh, yeah, you probably yeah. wouldn't want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, which was unfortunate. Funny. <laughs> the, the the controllers that I was telling you about, even though they were shaped exactly like a like a Super Nintendo controller, they still managed to put the twin stick at the bottom somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, it worked. It was beautiful, actually. Yeah, that's nice, was, yeah. I bought it mostly because uh, it be, because of my curiosity. And I was hoping that I would like it enough to 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 keep it, but I paid like I think fifty dollars for it, and I was like, ah, but I don't really need this right now. And it was Amazon, so oh. yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, last two uh, off of this is Animal Crossing Switch. Oh uh, yeah, is coming out in twenty nineteen. A lot of people excited about to hear that. Everyone, that's that's the I think the biggest announcement. This is this is a new this, this is a, a new, one. new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is all new. Uh, and the last piece, I just scrolled by it. My bad. I apologize. A Mario Tennis Aces version uh, 2 update delivers four new characters. Uh, you would recognize these guys as Birdo, uh, Koopa Paratroopa, uh, Shy Guy, and PD Piranha. PD Piranha. PD Piranha. PD Piranha uh, sounds like a rapper. It, uh, yeah. Actually, you know, you're right. Yeah. 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 PD Piranha. Um,. I am so excited about this announcement that got nice. released recently. Talk to me. Which one is it? I want to play a little bit of it. Maybe if I can get the volume. <laughs> yeah. You might not recognize that, but I, a lot of people do. This is one of the many, many sounds of the soundtrack of the game Katamari Damashi. Katamari Damashi. Katamari Damashi, sir. If there is a if there is a title that I I need you to play, I actually I want to play it. I'm I, not gonna lie. I, I need I, I you to, to play you. is you know I'm, you know me. I'm mm-hmm. not a big fan of frou frou. No, well yeah. <laughs> Let's but, be real. But That's no. pretty frou frou right there. Okay. Yeah, that is, that, <laughs> this game is super frou frou and a half, bro. <laughs> super frou frou and a half, but in a great way. Oh, okay, it is. It is funny, it is interesting, it is quirky, it is out there. Karamari Damashi is the they're making a remake of the uh two thousand 
uh, I remember the year, but it was PlayStation Two era. Uh, PlayStation Two era. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it was PlayStation Two. Yeah. Right. And uh, so, 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 so. Anyway, oh, it was two thousand four uh, when it came out. It was uh, the release, like we said, on the on the PlayStation Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is now remastered in HD to appear on the Nintendo console, and 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 then later on, there was also saying that it's also coming to PC. No, which I was like blown away. I mean, I would have gotten it anyway, regardless of platform. Uh, I would have gotten it, but just hearing that it's coming on, you know, on PC as well, for no other reason that hey, it's more people that get to enjoy the, uh, enjoy this game. Yeah. Uh, if if you don't know, the, the, in this game you play as a little <laughs> tiny fellow who who is the prince. <laughs> Your dad is. The king of all cosmos. I think nice. that is his name. That is his nice. full name. And he's a good looking guy too. Yeah, yeah. He's a good looking fellow. The king of all cosmos. <laughs> and I if I remember the premise uh, correctly, it was something along the lines of he needs you to go to he lost some the, the stars of the sky and he needs us to fill the sky the, with the new stars. And the, the way stars, yeah. the way you create uh, stars is by rolling up this little ball that it's called the katamari. Uh, which is Japanese for clump of things. I think is what it's called. Because <laughs> that's literally what it ends up becoming. You're rolling this ball, this ball, uh, as you're rolling it, you're kind of like snow, uh, snow uh, balling, balling it, yeah. uh, items from the world and making your katamari bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where you can start by collecting uh, like... Tiny, tiny, like bob, uh, uh, bob pin, bob pins, bob pins, and and safety pins and little things, little uh, trinkets, and, and little trinkets, and you could. It gets to a point. I'm not gonna spoil, you know, a lot, but it gets to a point where you are capturing like whole uh, um, edificio skyscrapers, skyscrapers and, yeah, and, yeah. and stuff like that. It, it's crazy. According to Google. And we all know how trustworthy Google is. <laughs> Katamari <laughs> means mass. <laughs> so, well, okay, so they yeah. so I don't maybe th- it's Damachi. That- <laughs> no, no, no. The thing I don't, I don't think it's a real. I heard that it was not a real word oh, okay. until they made it. You know, nice, signify, okay. signify something for the game. But I could be wrong. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm not the Japanese. Master. Not Japanese yeah. so, <laughs> anyway, sounds good to me. <laughs> it is. This is this is a game that also has a fantastic. Uh, a soundtrack. Mm. I I have the entire soundtrack and the entire soundtrack of all the games that follow. The other games that follow this this game, at, at least the second one, I would put it you know up there as as good. From the third one forward, it was no longer the creator, so it was more like Namco, expo- you know, exploiting the, the 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 just churning the, the, them the, out. The, the, yeah, 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 exactly. So it was not. There was no heart in it. You yeah. could tell that. You could tell, yeah. Like, it, sure. that, like at, at one point there was there was one version uh, that came out to the 360, mm-hmm. and I was excited about it. And then I started playing it, and I don't know that it, it, it felt like it lost its charm. Even though the elements of gameplay are they were exactly the same. Oh wow! There was not mm-hmm. a lot of things that changed, you know, on, on the game. But I especially the first one has a, a, a place very very near near <laughs> my heart. <laughs> And I will encourage anyone, especially for the soundtrack and the quirkiness of it, to get this game. And I would not be surprised if it's also, you know, not crazily uh, uh, priced. Price? Oh, Hopefully. yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to some follow-up news here, uh, last week we did announce uh, that Henry Cavill has been announced to be Geralt in the new Witcher series. Well, following that, Henry Cavill <laughs> is apparently... Not gonna be Superman anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So that went well with a lot of people, actually. Yeah, in the- that's kind of a, a huge wrench in uh, DC's plans. I would yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know how they recover from this, sir. I, I, we had a little, we had a little thread going on the group. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I think it was with this, uh, this post, and uh, I was saying, yeah, DC's. You know, they're already crashing and burning. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I, it, it, there was if there was a if there, if there was a good thing that they, they they had was the casting for Superman. I thought it was good. I thought he was really yeah, good. Yeah. You know, Superman, I mean, yeah. maybe the writing that was it was giving uh, yeah, the mind of nothing, all that. But the character itself, it, you know, it, it was great. Uh, does that mean if if there would have been if there would have been a story where maybe 
it explains his departure, uh, whether they kill him, <laughs> whether he passes the torch or anything like that, you know. But no, he, he, you know, this actor just this is not going to play uh, him anymore. He is not. And apparently the decision to leave the franchise comes amid structural changes uh, for the DCU, with different films becoming higher priority than the Superman sequel. Uh, Warner Brothers has shifted its focus to a Supergirl movie, which uh, will be the origin story featuring a teen superheroine. Uh, this effectively removes uh, an actor of Cavill's age from the storyline's equation, given the it Superman. Will be a baby then. Exactly. Yeah. So it's I don't know. It's again. It's another. I you want to say another like ridiculous right hand change? You know, just yeah. a weird change. Out of the blue, that nobody's now, happy here. No. <laughs> it, 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 nobody's happy in what's coming in with the DC. I don't think even you know, obviously not Warner uh, itself. Uh, oh, they're not making, happy with the re- results. Yeah, yeah. So we making so many, you know, so many drastic changes. I don't think you know. As interesting as a Supergirl story will sound like, unfortunately, this is almost. Like I don't know the 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 the, the real story of Supergirl 100 percent like the origin story 100 percent. Me either. It, it's yeah, it doesn't. But I've always thought that it was very similar to Superman. I mean, what else is there? It's Supergirl? You know, I it's like, honestly don't know. Uh, there's a, a TV show right now. There's a TV show. Uh, there's yeah. a TV show for it. Uh, I never seen it, but I seen like trailers and little coming whatever, and it just looks so bad. So I'm like, <laughs> yes. no, not wasting time <laughs> on this. <laughs> um, I seen the origin story from 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 uh, Infamous Infamous Two, not Infamous Two, no uh, her origin story. Injustice Two. Injustice. <laughs> I, like, yeah. I always get them confused. Uh, Injustice Two, yeah, because uh, in Injustice Two, just add as as. Uh, uh, as Superman, what's his name? Jorel, Karel, Kalel, Kalel. Thank you. Uh, was being jettisoned into outer space, you know, to to say because what was happening to crypto, Krypton. the invasion that was happening on Krypton. Basically, they do the same thing with with her, and just somewhere in the middle, you know, somewhere in the middle, there, uh, I guess, debris from the explosion of Krypton, uh, kind of like hits her, sh- her, her. Uh, ship and her pod, or get, yeah, her yeah. pod, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, gets her, of course, uh, and that's why it, that's how it explains how she arrives much later. But she's still young; mm-hmm. uh, looks even younger than than Superman, even though she is the older sibling. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, 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 yeah, I, I, you know, I saw that and I thought that was you know interesting for the game, but I'm not sure if that's even consider close to the canon or uh it's it, it now as you're mentioning it i'm like well, i kind of think i've heard that that kind of sounds yeah, like yeah, sounds right. yeah. Legit, yeah um i just never followed because you guys let I, us I'm, know. I'm, I'm not that not that she's not a a, a a good character like that but i'm always i've always been to the pillars hmm. you know of 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 dc comics yeah. that's batman superman yep. wonder woman you know those are the guys that and they already the, messed up batman so if if you if you mess batman up yeah <laughs> I mean, I can't. I, I, I don't I'm know. sorry, but I did not like Batman for Justice League. I, I <laughs> no. was just like, "Fuck this guy." I was <laughs> willing to so give not... Ben Affleck the benefit of the doubt. So was I, just because of the build did, and everything. You know, I mean, I didn't like uh, Superman versus Batman, or no. Batman versus Superman either. But there were aspects of it where I was like, "Okay, that's the Batman I'm talking about." That could be yeah. minus the killing. <laughs> yeah. You know, but that's the Batman I'm talking about. Um, but no, man, I just yeah. I can't. Then Justice League came in and he was. I don't know. He was even worse. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, switching gears. Uh, <laughs> the You guys know that I'm a huge fan of the Yakuza series. Uh, I think I heard that somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I might have some games there that they're, I have yet to open because I'm still playing them you know, in order. There may be a rumor that may have been out there. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, as much as I'm glad uh, about any new Yakuza games that, that might be announced... I am very glad that the team that makes those games have decided to 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 make a separate IP uh, for a, a different game that doesn't take you know it it it's of that sort, but mm-hmm. it's not the characters, it's not the world of Yakuza. Even though I mean, if you want to describe it, it's, it's Japan still. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> and there are I've seen I saw I believe I saw some Yakuza's, but that's not the main <laughs> that, that's not the main point. Sir, just because they have tattoos does not make them Yakuza. Well, I think that's a little racist. They do well. <laughs> just saying. they do it. 
they almost do in Japan, almost do in Japan to the point Actually, where you're absolutely right. They don't they don't <laughs> let people with tattoos sometimes they don't, they don't like into some ba- into some uh, establishments, yeah. Yeah, establishments. Because they believe you to be because it's not they believe you to be, but it's connected to be young. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh all this to say that they reveal a new game that the Yakuza developers reveal a new PS4 game, the title called Judge Eyes. Oh. And Oh, I did see Okay, okay. There was the there way. was two trailers. I haven't seen the second one. I, I posted the first one. I haven't seen the second one fully. The second one is the actual gameplay. The gameplay, yeah. I saw the gameplay one. You saw the gameplay yes. one? So I would imagine it's a brawler in the style of, of... From what I saw, and maybe I didn't catch the whole thing, but uh, it looked very investigative. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, which actually was more was the more interesting aspect of it to me. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I kind of like where, where this is going. Let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about it. So, so, so yeah. Uh, the game was shown at the PlayStation lineup tour event uh, ahead of the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, the trailer, uh, which you can, uh, which you can uh, get on YouTube, uh, involves a playing... Uh, 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 it, sorry, let me go back because I lost where I was. <laughs> Judge I seem to involve playing as a lawyer... And investigating a series of murders and crimes, uh, it is expected to launch in December in Japan, and a Western release will follow on 2019. Though the exact date has not been confirmed as of yet. So, as you see, this trailer, uh, the the non gameplay trailer, uh, and it shows you a, a backstory. So, evidently, this is a like 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 the description I just mentioned, a, an ex lawyer that uh, evidently he he was disgraced. Uh, in one of his cases, because the person that he was def- that he defended he he defended successfully, mm-hmm. uh, so he was released and he went and committed murder. Mm. And I, I don't exactly what to the, to the extent, but the fact that the person that he was defending was actually you know guilty, guilty yeah. mm-hmm. uh, it kind of like uh, like it, it kind of like messed this this person up to the point that he's no longer a lawyer. He becomes he decides to become a private eye. Mm-hmm. And the game that the from what I saw in the trailer and and you just confirmed has uh, elements where it sees you investigating stuff, almost a la uh, Phoenix Wright, you know, in a sense. Yes, it, you know, it makes me with think with a little not, um, uh, what's what's that one? Oh, go ahead, uh, I'll tell you what about uh, the Batman Detective mode. You want to say sure? Yeah. <laughs> so. The the judge the judge eyes project was originally teased during uh, a Sega live stream, uh, where the creative of, uh, officer Toshihiro Nagoshi uh, described it as something completely different from the studio. Uh, he also revealed that it has been in development for around three years. Uh, let me see uh, in the short gameplay video uh, that has also been released, which is the one that I haven't seen. Uh, Ektar- uh, a character can be seen identifying a person of interest in the city and then using stealth to tell the man, uh, eventually follow him into an alley and confront the mark, which results in a chase. Uh, then there are quick time button presses to keep up uh, with the target. The term of the, in terms of combat, it seems very familiar to the Yakuza series in both, uh, in, uh, both in terms of having multiple enemies uh, to engage in hand-to-hand combat and the ridic- the ridiculous over the top finishing moves, which is <laughs> which is signature, is yeah. signature of the series, man. Yeah, the the g- game I was trying to was was uh, L.A. Noir. Oh, L.A. Noir, Noir. Right. yes, yeah, that that was the uh, what I got from the gameplay, a little bit from the gameplay because there is some uh, elements of uh, interrogation. That is that that is awesome. I, I'm actually looking forward playing uh uh. Uh, Yakuza uh, Kiwami 2 mm-hmm. and then the 6 because my understanding is that even though the setting is the same you know city of Kamurosho it is is it, that the engine has been changed enough to where the physics are different so the fighting fighting the characters they actually it actually have uh, more realistic physics oh, where okay. you know if you take someone out it could take the next person next to it and I'm interested in seeing that also I think that you know that city was almost, you know, almost exactly recreated from a real city. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's also I, I, I remember that it also rhymes with Ocho, uh, but it's not Camurocho. Oh. Uh, but I, there was a video on YouTube where this guy was taking places of the game and places of, of the places in real life, and I'm like, 
man, when we get to go to Japan in in uh, 2020, next, in 2020 yeah. <laughs> I would love to be able to go to that place if it's all possible, if it's reachable, because it looked amazing. I will go to Don Quixote. Which is which is Japan's Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Don Quixote. Don Quixote, <laughs> yes. Donkey. Donkey. It's donkey now. <laughs> a donkey named Hote. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, switching gears once more time. Uh, one more time. One more time. A uh, live action series with, uh, that's coming from the same showrunner as Legion and Cloak and Dagger uh, will be heading up an Alan Wake TV show. I saw that. Yes. An Alan Wake TV show. Yes. I've never played uh, Alan Wake, but I've heard so many good things about it, and I've heard that it's also very cinematic in in, in many ways. Oh, my so God, it, it is. Yes. It lends itself to be uh, a show that, obviously, I can be able to see. Talk about a series that, that I've, I don't know if this is our game, where you want a whole franchise over. Maybe it was better that it became what it became. Mm-hmm. I will play a remaster like that. Uh, oh, Anna Wake? Oh, yeah. yeah it's okay. so good. Uh, Anna Wake, uh, according to uh, Thomas Harlan of Contradiction, Anna Wake was basically a TV series that was put into a game. Uh, that was Sam Lake's vision. and It was influenced by the Twilight Zone, Secret Window, Hitchcock, Northern Exposure, and a lot of U.S. Uh, television. So <laughs> that, my friend, definitely lends itself to being... Um, you know, a, a good series. I just, I hope, you know, they, obviously there's, there's a lot of uh, inspiration here and I hope they bring that to the show and it, and they do something good with it. You know, uh, it, it does have, it does have a lot of Twilight Zone uh, to the point where Twilight Zone too? Yeah, Twilight like Zone. seriously? I mean, they, I mentioned Twilight Zone, but I was like, really? Twilight Zone? Well, no, actually in the sense that, um, well, in, in, in the game itself, there was, you know, this TVs uh, started in different areas yeah. and, they will have programming, and one of the programming I forgot the name of the actual show, but dude, it was a very faithful homage to Twilight Zone stories. Oh, nice! Like okay. I would encourage you to to look at the uh, to look to YouTube those series, you know, so you can so you can see them because it will it will pan into the TV and then it. Oh, shit! Sorry about that. Oh shit! No worries. Uh, uh, something fell. Don't worry, guys. I'm, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah. It was not bullets <laughs> this time. We're good. Uh, so 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 you if if you get to see the um so so you pass out it pans and and you get to see the uh the Twilight Zone episode. I forgot again the name of the actual show, but it's played by it, it's real it's live action, mm-hmm. you know. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's done like it's done real well. Nice, okay. To the point where it doesn't matter what you're doing, you kind of want to stop and watch wasn't uh, these guys uh, Remedy? Uh, weren't they the same guys that did, is it Quantum Break? I believe they are the ones, yeah. Which also has some live action elements to it. Well, so that one has it, it, a, yeah. a little too much <laughs> action element. <laughs> Fair enough, but I mean, what I'm saying is that they, they know what they're doing on that in that circle. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, for sure, for sure. They didn't, they didn't overstate it. Uh, let me see. What else? Something that I wanted to say. Oh, okay, yes, I, I found it here. So this week, uh, uh, a lot of people got to play the the beta. Mm-hmm. Well, there were two betas. There was the Battlefield uh, Five, yes, and the beta for Call of Duty Black Ops Four. Uh, their Blackout beta. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I heard good things about it. Impressions on that will have been really good. Uh, to the point where I'm like curious. I like I want. I need to see what this is about because th- these are people that that are used to PUBG and even Fortnite, and you don't expect like, well, not that you don't expect, but you you hear oh, Activision is doing their own battle royale, and you kind of like ha- like skeptical, like yeah. okay, yeah, sure. right, what are they gonna do? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. but apparently, you know, it did it did well enough to. Uh, to increase the value of Activision stock. Nice. So uh, the Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta, god damn the name, uh, is impressing not just players, but financial analysts as well. According to CNBC, uh, Activision stock closed at 7% higher on Tuesday, one day after the Blackout uh, beta went live. We don't care about the financial aspect of it, but I no, wanted no. to mention it. But I mean, that that, that means there's excitement because it's saying investors. exactly yeah. it, it 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 it's saying that 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 there are that, yeah that there are people that might have, like even me included that might have not care about okay yeah quality whatever too. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I'm interested to see what what is it that they're doing that has so, so many people uh, excited, uh, you know, about it. Sorry about that. Uh, so, following the launch of the Blackout Beta, a Blackout Four has been consistently topping the Twitch chart uh, for the number of views, with the highest being four hundred thousand views at one point. Mm. Uh, they say we believe Blackout will have will be potentially a massive hit. Uh, we believe the game will uh, will migrate investors to fo- to f- will migrate investor focus from Fortnite uh, uh, led uh, battle royale competitive threat to the opportunity for battle royale in driving meaningful growth. So interesting seeing uh, this excitement not just uh, not just in, you know the, the at the player level, but investors thinking, hey. Maybe they actually do have something in it, and maybe there's a there's a chance that, I mean, not that there's a chance. Obviously, it's gonna sell well, but if the word of mouth continue being this is great, this is fantastic. Uh, I don't say Fortnite has anything to get worried, uh, but at least they should be a little concerned. I say not worried because in reality, Fortnite is still the free alternative. Correct, and not only you know it's and it's it, everywhere. It's so free that yeah. even Nintendo doesn't dare to put it to put it to to, to, to put it behind the paywall. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah, even Nintendo say no, you can still play Fortnite even if you don't pay the twenty. Correct, that, yep. even if you don't pay the twenty dollars, you know it's it's too big of a movement at this point. That's it is it is, yeah. it, 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 it is massive. And I, I, honestly, you got to look at Sony and go. You know, you're the only one <laughs> holding back. Kind of a jackass on, with this, guys. Just yeah. saying, um, <clears throat> but I. I wanted to to kind of piggyback off that real quick yeah. where um I think this spells some imminent danger for uh Battle for Field Battlefield, Field, yeah, Five. Battlefield uh, no doubt um I am I, very worried about so Battlefield 5 first off not that we heard anything bad about it but I kind of did all, okay, well I mean it's yeah. still it's still early impressions yeah. but there's just only so much space in this particular market um, of people who are going to be playing this game. Fortnite may see a small dip in their numbers uh, when Call of Duty comes out. Mm -hmm. Um, I think maybe even PUBG may see a significant, Mm -hmm. may actually see a significant dip. um, But they're seeing it now. Well, I know they're already going down, but I'm saying this literally falls within their camp. I mean, realistically, Fortnite is more of a campy fun you know whatever Mm -hmm. that it's fun for all ages you know kids are playing it and all this shit um however uh pubg is a military shooter and guess what this is a military shooter and this is yes it's only up i I, my understanding also it's only going to be 80 um well so far they're playing correct they they might be able to reach if if they keep tightening the the net code they might be it might be possible to reach they said 80 and they've said that's not to say it's going to be staying on that. You know, mm-hmm. you know, we may uh, mm-hmm. look to 80 still a good number. It's um, a and that said, you throw into it all the, you know, planes, trains yeah. and automobiles that you can play. Yeah. In. It's, it's a very different game. Uh, this spells serious, serious doom for uh, Battlefield Five. Yeah, um, the fact is the word of the, the word on the street has not been that great for Battlefield Five. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of backlash with the with the marketing and you know that that he has had, which has been none basically. Yeah, yeah. the lack of <laughs> the lack of and and the uh, the feature said that they are the, the that that beta went out. Not a lot of people very happy with the uh, with some of the changes that have been made. Uh, so, so, some of it accusing it of making it way too mainstream. Other people are uh, accusing it of the the menus, the the the, the design itself making no sense. Mm-hmm. Like you have to pretty much be out of the game to make changes to your loadout and stuff like that. Yeah, which this this game. One of the things that I I, I feel this is not. This this is something that a lot of developers tend to put on the wayside, tend to not pay attention to, and is the quality of the you know the quality of life. When when you have a game, for example, where if you you die in the game, you immediately respawn, you know, or you need to get you, you need to grab uh, an item uh, from your inventory is just one button press away, you know. Those things are imp- are more important. The ergonomics of a game mm-hmm. are more important that a lot of developers, uh, you know, care to pay attention to. 
in the name of just making it look flashy and having this like elaborate menus that are like a nightmare, but they look fine. They look great. You know, they have, you know, they usually have stuff in the background, you know, shiny shit happening in the mm-hmm. background, yeah. but it is completely, it, 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 it's, it's not ideal. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and I'm afraid that uh, having developers that are not paying attention to that, you know, it's, it, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people are not playing, you know, the, those games. When you find the interface cumbersome, you you don't tend to, you know, gravitate towards those games. You tend to gravitate towards the ones where, you know, it's easy to manage. It's easy to do what you want to do. I'm not talking about accessibility in, in, in the name of making things easy. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not talking about lowering the difficult, lowering the skill level. I'm talking about uh, lowering the the difficulty of of your the of your ergonomics yeah, yeah. your quality of life items. correct yeah that that's makes sense yeah to. um and that and with the buzz that's coming out of this like i said there can only there's only so much space and yeah. then you you know you throw into that games like that are coming out like uh anthem coming out next year just mm-hmm. there's a certain there's a certain unfortunate ecosystem that's not going to make it fast and frankly the target right now is on is on Battlefield. Battlefield. It, it just doesn't look like it's going to make they, the splash that they're probably wanting. I'm going to give. I'm, I'm going to give them. He, here's how you save the Battlefield brand. Battlefield Five, it, it's, guys, it's not looking good. It'll take a miracle. That, that's not to say that they haven't happened. You know, I but mean, you have your you have your diehard this Battlefield is, uh, fans. Right? Yeah, but 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 uh, a miracle in the sense of of growing numbers because you don't want to develop uh, a, and release a game just to keep the numbers that you have been buying. You mm-hmm. always want to grow your audience, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen with this game. Do it with the next one. Bring back uh, Battlefield Back Company. Make Battlefield Back Company 3. And I assure you that those good feelings are going to come back. I mean, not not just in the, in the sense of the title. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Make it, you know, learn from your mistakes here and make it uh, like I, like I was just talking about. Make it easy to, you know, to 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 access the menus and load us and stuff like that. Make it uh, quick, uh, you know, and fun. Have that destructive element. I feel like Battlefield uh, Back Company is a game that a lot of people have been clamoring for. That for some reason I don't know what EA is waiting for. They're sitting, or maybe they just don't have access to the same. Uh, actors, could voice be. actors, Perhaps, could, could it be yeah. maybe, but I, I I don't know. But that's a battlefield that could actually make money. I, I feel you know I I believe that that game still had that the last the last uh, game of that series was you know was received well enough, and they haven't exploited I, as much as the rest ones. I think um I mean was the just to to continue it was the was a good thing about bad company it's single player with the actors and all that stuff or was it the multiplayer no it was it, it, it was the multiplayer it's okay. just the the single player element it, the single player was was well was good it was actually good mm. you know I, I i i'm not going to exaggerate and say oh my it's so good that yeah. yada yada no no but it was it was a good single player campaign it was not, it didn't feel like a throwaway uh, like, yes, I like what they did with Battle, Battle, uh, Battlefield 1. Mm-hmm. But in essence, those were just training scenarios yeah. for the multiplayer. And the stories were kind of like, yeah, well, or maybe quick one of them was interesting, but it was yep. quick and, 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 and disappeared. Uh, and Battlefield 4 was tragic. Battlefield 4. <laughs> Ask me anything about the Battlefield 4 story. Who cares? I don't remember any of the characters. I just remember that it started with the song "Turn Around." The, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> and that was awesome. <laughs> um, I personally, and this is not in any way has to do with how I feel about EA. I just I feel bad things bad things on the horizon here uh, for this particular franchise, and I didn't think that would happen no, from a bad franchise. Um, but mismanagement, yeah. man. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Uh, I just have a couple of quick fires. I don't know if you had anything else. Sure, yeah. Uh, quick fires I'll here. Fire back. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, fire back. <laughs> uh, Netflix has a new Sabrina, the Teenage Witch show, uh, which I normally wouldn't bring up because I never watched the. Well, that's not true. I watched maybe a couple of episodes of it, but I wasn't like a huge fan of it. Um, well, that's not true. I was. I was a huge you were. Fan. No, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, yeah. No, not me. Uh, evidently, they they released a teaser trailer, and uh, yeah. 
it looks to be a little bit more serious, maybe a little bit more racy than uh, than they were expecting. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, unlike the upbeat 90s sitcom starring Melissa Joan Hart, which was inspired by the original uh, line of comic books, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which is the name of the new series, is based off a spinoff of the same title from Archie Comics imprint Archie Horror. Uh, so yes, this version of Sabrina is less merry and more macabre. Mm. Um, so I saw the. Uh, I think it's pronounced uh, macabre. It, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Perhaps I don't know. Okay. Macabre. I macabre. always thought it was macabre. Uh, <laughs> macabre. <laughs> Uh, so basically, I saw the teaser and I, I, I didn't even bring it up for the for the trailer of the week because it's just a teaser. But mm. uh, yeah, looks like it uh, looks like they're you know crossing some lines here that the original t- teenage uh, witch did not hey, do. <laughs> that's cool. You know, you know what I was thinking about the other day. Uh, you know that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have, have kind of flopped already. Like nobody cares a lot about you know at least on oh, the movie stand. Oh, okay, yeah. oh, how do you know that the, the at least on the movie? Uh, on, yeah, on CG the, on, cartoon is really good. So yeah, no, yeah. That, that that's fine. I I believe it. What if they actually make uh, greedy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Like a greedy ass Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Like okay, this Sir, is that's what I have been clamoring people. clamoring for. For the longest, that's what the comics were. <laughs> that's dude. what the comics were, yes, yeah, right? Yes. Right. That's oh what I'm saying. God. That, that it, it's time to give it to someone else. Stop being scared about. Stop trying to be the Avengers, everybody. You're not gonna do it. You no. just not. It's not gonna happen. It, nope. do you, are you calling Marvel? Not even Marvel could do it. All right, <laughs> yeah. Marvel can't do it. Marvel doesn't even want to do it again. Marvel doesn't want to do it. <laughs> exactly. They don't, they don't want to do the. No, they don't. They they're like, yeah, we're not we're not doing this shared world thing for oh, another yeah. time. They're like, yeah, this this shit took too much. And you know, people age twenty years and ten years. We're 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 done. <laughs> That's all right. It gave it gave him enough. Maybe they're yeah. like. And, and remember, at the end of the day, it's not Marvel. And it goes, it's, yeah. it's Disney. It correct. And Disney can say no. You're gonna give me another <laughs> Avengers, and you're gonna do it with a smile. Yeah. Well, or else. Or else what? This you is don't, true. You don't want to anger the mouse. This is true. You don't want to anger the mouse. Speaking of Marvel, uh, Venom is officially rated PG thirteen. Pass. <laughs> Despite Pass. the R rated, I wanted an uh, X rated. <laughs> the, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I, I have some idea, to. you know. It's I'm like, sure you do. The symbiote, I'm sure you. Tentacle oh, porn. Damn, and, you had to go there. <laughs> I was thought. I was thought. <laughs> you had to go there. Uh, unfortunately, yes. The the they did announce that it was going to be uh, PG thirteen. I think we discussed this earlier, uh, and I the fact that. You know, I, I what did I say? I can't even. Remember. Oh no, I, I said, um, take for a moment. Think of the movie Logan. Logan, yes. and I was like, try to take Logan and make it a PG thirteen film. No, bro. And it's like, no, <laughs> no there was bro. no way that that. There's no way you can do that without having a an hour and ten minute movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> Essentially, um, so. There is no the fact that they they were even wavering back and forth. It's like, yeah, you were never as dark yeah, as Logan no. because there's just no way you 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 can't cut all that away. So no. you were already on the on the fence on it, and the fact that you went to PG thirteen just one shows you want the most money out of this product. Mm-hmm. Secondly, you don't have faith in the in the product itself nope. to be you know to actually bring in uh, somebody with an R rated uh, content, mm-hmm. and frankly. Just that sucks. Not dude. To, it's like pff, it's I don't insane. know. Not to mention to me, and this is just just this is just me. But the idea to me of a Venom movie that is Spider Man less, it's ridiculous. It's it's kind of like hearing about the Joker movie. It's like what is the Joker <laughs> movie? You want to tell me you're gonna dedicate a movie to the Joker and not have Batman on it? What what is that? Like like why? No, you know if if anything was interesting about those characters was. Not just themselves by themselves, but the interaction with their, you know, with the arch, you know, with their arch enemy, mm. you know, just by themselves. I don't feel like, well, maybe the Joker could be a little bit, but not enough to make it a movie. But, but Venom, Venom, it's like, <laughs> what is he gonna be? Venom, well, wasn't he a villain? He, so he's the good villain now. He's the he's antihero. More, he's Fuck more of a, yeah. Here. He became more of an antihero, uh, especially when all the other Venoms came about. Um, he has his own line of comics. So it's it's not like there isn't already main stories with just him on it. So it, it, it to a sense, I can see why they're doing it. I just those line of comics are very niche. 
Are those <laughs> you know, dino they, stories Spider-Man less? Like they, they, they're uh, not, they don't acknowledge that all the, the, the Spider-Man. Well, I mean, they, I'm sure they acknowledge that he's in that particular universe, but they may not always include him. Um, right. So yeah. Right. So it is. So yeah. So I can see what led them to this. Um, that said, I it just. I mean, it's a it's the type of character it is. You, 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 that's like saying that's like wanting to have like we've said a million times. Why is there no Bioshock movie? Because you have to do PG thirteen, and if you do, then you lose a lot. You of lose the, so much uh, of it. So yeah. it's the same thing here. It's like if you're gonna make a PG thirteen Venom movie, you already essentially neutered the character. You know yeah. what I mean? So. I, I can't you know I mean it's just it's a sad it's a sad state of affairs but uh, yeah good luck to Sony and, and you know <laughs> and Venom and and Tom Hardy not to mention uh, that I don't know that that I know that is you know people say it's 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 very it is very like the comic yeah yeah oh you talking about the, the look of the, it the yeah, look yeah. of it the design of it or maybe almost to a fault where making it that way it kind of looks goofy to me yeah it can be you know it doesn't and look it, 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 menacing i think he ta- i think my problem is that he talks too much as venom you know and yeah just exactly like, it's another thing i prefer uh, i mean if you're going to be an anti-hero i prefer the cool you know hey so- just be- not soft-spoken but you know speaks when has to speak you know what i mean and we have had those movies right where you know that the the, the, the the anti-hero movie i'm trying to remember if even hellboy was that but i can't hellboy sort of is that um but yeah, sort of is that. But um, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider is also that because he obviously you know yeah. he's he's he's, uh, he's got to it's deal with the devil and all yeah. that. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, it, but still they they I mean those movies aren't exactly great either. So, no, exactly. Well, <laughs> you know? That should say, that yeah. should set your expectation for Venom. Yeah, yeah. You know. However, Ghost Rider from Marvel's Agents of Shield is pretty fucking badass. I'm just <laughs> He's pretty badass. That is to say, you know, or or, or <laughs> switching here to uh, I don't even know where to go with this one. Oh, <laughs> anyway, you know what is not badass? Oh God, uh, Nero Automata. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so Nero Automata is getting an official novel that expands the story. Uh, one of my favorite games of was it last year or the previous? I think it was last year. Uh, I love that game so much. But Viz Media, uh, that is V-I-Z Media, has announced the worldwide pre-order uh, for Long Story Short. Oh, yeah. The, we mentioned this. Yeah, yeah we mentioned yeah, yeah. yeah, we mentioned this. It's a little bit of Marvel. We did mention that it was coming. Uh, long Story Short, uh, the first of two novels uh, and add extra con- that add extra content to the story and the characters in Near Automata. Uh, the book is already available in Japan, and the English translation will be releasing on October 9. Uh, long story short, it's written by Jun e- Eishima and Yoko Taro, uh, the latter which uh, was the director of Nier Automata, and works as both both as an entry point for those unfamiliar with the, uh, with the Automata and as an avenue for those experienced with the game to further explore its lore. Uh, so the, it says the novel may include uh, story details and characters through uh, thoughts that weren't included in Near Automata. Uh, some of which change, some of which uh, change your perception of certain actions taken uh, by the game protagonist. So there's some things that I will admit uh, in the story of Near Automata that lets you wondering, like, okay, so why is, is this happening? And you kind of have to dig a little bit to make sense of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the it, it's a video game story. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna change. <laughs> it's not gonna be something extraordinary. It's gonna basically I I, be. I don't think you were very <laughs> pleased with it. I was not. I think in my case, I like you know I liked it enough. Uh, I I think I like more the little t- tribute to gamers. You know, and, and the and the and the gameplay. Um, the 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 gameplay feature of. Okay, you completed the game, but you didn't complete the game. You actually had to play it again, but with a different character. Oh, you finished that game now? Well, you haven't. That's a very now Japanese you get aspect. Yeah, definitely. The continuation of the story now, and and uh, I don't. And now that I think about it, I think it was really good. Actually, I mean, it was not terrible. Let's let's put it that way. <laughs> that, that's that's the best I can say. If you say so. Uh, <laughs> let me see. You could pre-order, like as I said, Love Story Short for fifteen dollars in the U.S. or twenty dollars in Canada. Will there be an audiobook? That's what I was looking for. Uh, I will imagine at some point they haven't mentioned anything of it. I know that there is another novel that is in the work 
that is uh, called uh, Short Story Long, mm -hmm. which I believe is going to be a collection of many stories. Yep. Uh, also <laughs> within the, the Nier Automata universe. Nier Automata universe, interesting, uh, you know, to explore. There was the game Nier, which when it came out, I, you know, didn't think of it uh, much. Not and it's not even that directly related 100 with the events of Nier Automata. Like you don't need to no, play Nier. Not, yeah, yeah. It's like it having takes like place way, like way in the back centuries. Yeah, like too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, I'll be down to listening to, to to understanding a little bit more of it, and and who knows, maybe this will psych me up towards uh, the next sequel. You know, maybe. I will definitely play out the sequel. That game was awesome. <laughs> I, I don't care what you say. I, hey, I didn't say it was not awesome. I'm just saying. Okay, good. I, and I didn't say it was not bad either. I'm just saying it, it was okay. As far it, as was, it was. It was good. I'll leave it at good. Near Automata, according to, let me see. This according is, to. This is GameStop. Mad Dog. Uh, Near Automata was, <laughs> was one of my favorite games on good. PS4 in 2017. And okay. we gave it a 9 out of 10. That was all right. On the, on the Nier. That's what that means. 9 out of 10 means is 7 right? out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> seven out of ten. Oh my god! This is, is uh, <laughs> the Spider Man. is like a fifteen out of ten to you. The, then it's the perfect uh, game. It's <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. It's pretty perfect. I'm like, <laughs> 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 all right, guys. We'll be right back with our hot topic. <laughs> No, what uh, I'm trying wait, to say... We, we need to record it. This is good material. So. Okay, if, if you say it's good. What I'm trying to say is simple, that we... First off, I think that Fortnite is an anomaly. Yes. Okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yes. I knew and, you were going to say that. And it's, and it's the absolute truth. It's yeah. like the Wii was. The Wii came out and it sold 102 million units. People were like, holy shit, this is the shit. It was yeah. every freaking... Uh, 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 Nursing homes yes. had them and they were playing it. And suddenly, like, oh, I guess motion control is the future. Yeah. And what happened? We got the connect and we got the move controllers, and those are crap. Nobody cares about them. Why? Because the Wii was an anomaly. Well, the, the Wii also, it, it, it's people eventually discovered that, wait a minute, this is crap. This, it, this is just no, Wii U. You have, you this have is people, just Wii Sports. The, well, no, because they did have some uh, uh, things, but for the most part, and let me tell you, Wii U Sports is what most people play. Yeah, I, mean, I can tell you right that now. That was a Wii Sport machine. The so other day, uh, and I say the other day, but this was a few weeks back, I even posted it on, uh, on Instagram. I was playing Wii Tennis yeah. with my wife. This is yeah. not we uh, you. This is their first the we. Okay, and it's still fun. It's still it's still a lot of you know. We still always get a nice little yeah. workout out of it. Even though even though literally you could do a sitting down, but we yeah. always act it out. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's just more fun that way. Um, but that's what Fortnite is. Fortnite is is an anomaly. But and you know why? I'm gonna tell you exactly. I'm gonna tell you exactly the reason why. And I, and and this is why. Unfortunately, hey the um, PUBG is never going to reach its, its, its limits is because Fortnite is for everyone. It's not just for your military shooter guys. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I hope that the makers of PUBG understood this when they were like, we can't compete with this yeah. because this is going to be for everybody. And it's everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. There's no, you, You're, you're going to be able to play this soon um, just on your TV. And the next smart TV that comes out next year You'll is going to have Fortnite preloaded in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Amazon uh, uh, Fire TV is going to have it preloaded in there. It's Amazon like, Echo. You'll yeah, it's go. just going to be... Yeah, you're going to tell Alexa, please crouch and, and shoot over there to this and build a wall real quick. You know what I mean? It's That's the reason why. And the problem here is this is just like, just like what happened with the Wii. Mm. People were like, uh, uh, companies were like, oh, we got to get into this motion ca uh, motion control thing because this is mm. obviously the whatever. It was false. It was, again, the, they bought into the anomaly and that's what companies are doing now with Battle Royale games buying into the anomaly. Oh, we need this. We need the piece of pie. You yeah. need at least a little piece of this of, of this huge whatever because you know it's the next big thing. And it's like, no, it's not. It's just another anomaly. It's just it it's, is. I agree with you. That is an, an, an anomaly. Yes. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not uh, saying it's not. I'm not arguing that. My point is that 
it's still a slap in the face of developers uh, of of uh, publishers mm -hmm. uh, rather uh, everywhere because yes, this game is free. Uh, yes, you don't even have to pay, uh, which I just found out uh, from a posting from Krista, uh, a.k.a. Shadow247. Yes. Shout out to Shadow247. <laughs> shout out to Shadow247. <laughs> uh, we miss her a lot. Because uh, that, that, I mentioned, I believe I mentioned as I was recording, not, you know, you don't even need Nintendo uh, online, online service services, yeah. to play Fortnite uh, for free. And Krista posted, oh, no, you don't even need... Uh, PS Plus, either, which I was not aware. I thought you needed to have PSN, rather. I thought you needed to have... Uh, no, PS Plus. PS Plus. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. I thought you needed to have that in order to play any online games. No, no. Does they, that mean... There's a few There's a few that didn't require PS Does that Plus. mean that on Xbox, uh, Fortnite, you don't, You also don't need... I don't know. You guys... You, you, the people have to chime in because I have no I have no clue. I, 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 don't, I don't have... I'm that, not in that ecosystem. So. And, and, the, and the fact is that... Yeah, that this this game is still anomaly, just like you mentioned, you know, like the Wii, and everybody started pursuing motion controls, which was a stupid thing. But free game or lower entry level games is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing that even if the even if the if, if they fail, I will. It's still good that they try that they try. You know, maybe realizing that. Yeah, maybe games don't have to be $60. I mean, here's a game that is proving you don't have to make a $60 game. True. You know. And everything's cosmetic. Even though they never say it's yeah. going to stay free, mm -hmm. eventually. Yeah, because it's still in early access. Yeah. It's still literally, technically, yeah. still in early Although access. Although I wouldn't necessarily, well. I'm just saying. At that point. We know it's early access. <laughs> yeah. At this point. It literally has it right on the side. They're making so much money that that's, you know, when you're yeah, making that much money, you be. don't want to mess with the formula. Correct. I agree. Maybe you don't even want to say it's out of early access yeah. or anything They'll like that. They'll probably just remove it from the, from the, from the quietly. graphic. Yeah, yeah. Like very quietly. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. say anything. And of course, all the, everybody's going to report on it because they're going to like, hey, did you notice that? Early oh, this game is out <laughs> already. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's kind of boring. Yeah, I'm done. I with played it already. Right. <laughs> Let's play um, but Black no, Ops. <laughs> re realistically, that's the reason why it's it, it caters to everyone. Um, even though you're using guns, you know what I'm saying? It's, you're, you don't, you're still it's, a cartoon. It's still, it's still a cartoon. A cartoon movie, it's yeah. still, you know, and it, it's it's just fun. Overall, yeah. it's just a fun game that literally parents are playing with their kids. Yes. Um, on everything. You know, that's crazy. And it, yeah, it, it's just everywhere they're playing it. So that's the reason why it's big. And no, like it or not, uh, uh, with Black Ops Four, not as as well. I think it's going to do really well. I'm pretty sure it's going to do really well. Never going to reach the heights of uh, of of this game. It's not, but it's going to make a dent. It's, it's going to make a dent it'll, because it's going to make a dent for for Call for, of Duty gamers. They're Call of Duty, and exactly, which yeah. there's still a, a a fuck ton of them out there. And, right. and if the word of mouth is as good as the beta has been, I can see them recruiting their friends, yeah, you know, their Fortnite definitely. friends, and suddenly, you know, oh, but you need to pay sixty, you know, you need to pay the sixty dollars. So it could exactly, go, yeah. it could go, you know, it could exactly. go. That's why I haven't, I haven't paid for a Call of Duty in so long. Oh shit, I gotta pay sixty dollars on this. Ah, Does he even have a single player? Oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it can, it can backfire on them too. But I, I don't. It's not. I know it's not going to reach the heights of no, uh, of, no. of of. Um, Fortnite. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure anything will at this. No, point. it won't because again, this is this is just it's lightning in a bottle, man. That's yeah, what right. it is, and it's just it, you know what, uh, freaking epic. God bless you guys. You you found you finally you know, made you, you, yeah. You found what you needed to do, yeah. and I hope I hope it doesn't cost other games like uh, the one game they have to stop uh, making or stop supporting. Well, they stopped the so, so Paragon. Every, they Paragon. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Paragon, which apparently was a very good game, and this is terrible, also. Because Epic Epic was a, and I say was because I truly believe there are not going to be more single player games coming out of this studio. Unfortunately, sadly, not, not for not for a while. I mean, again, mm. this is not this doesn't mean that suddenly everybody's going to be wanting to play online with every the single player game. I, I'm convinced single player games not going anywhere. It's just it's just waves, ebbs and flows. Mm. You know what I mean? Right now, that's the that's a hot thing, and everybody's jumping into that that yeah. bandwagon. But look, then you have games like. Spider Man. You have games like uh, God of War. You have games uh, like um, all the single play games yeah. we've been playing recently. Uh, what's the one? God, I can't think of uh, God of War. 
Uh-huh. No, from uh, Bethesda. You know the Bethesda games and Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein and Doom and all that. Doom? You, these are these aren't going anywhere. And no, they no, no, have no, no, their, no. They have, you know, what I'm saying it's so. Not, clear, cl- clearly not. I'm talking about Epic in, in particular because I oh, like well, most likely. Yeah, I yeah. like the stuff that Epic brought. You know, uh, brought uh, when they were developing games and they brought us. Uh, you know, on real uh, on real tournament and they brought us uh, Gears of War. Those are always and on, prior those to always that. multiplayer anyway, though. True, but Gears of War had an emphasis on the single player story. And, and and I'm not saying I, they're, not gonna, they're, they're not developing Gears of War anymore, obviously. But yeah. a, a single player IP, a, a single player IP with multiplayer content, I don't see them developing anymore because they don't have to follow. They don't have to follow that. It's like Valve, for example. They, There's yeah. not going to be a Half Life Three ever. Why? Uh, and yes, to. I'm saying it because they don't need to. They're making a lot of money, and at the end of the day, that's all that companies are pursuing. Yeah, you know. In the end. I, I mean, I, I can agree to a certain extent with that. Uh, the reason I think Valve does is they also have Steam, and well, Steam also, is yeah. like you know Valve basically printing money for them. Yeah. Um, but with Epic, they don't have Steam, so I would say I can see them taking maybe a couple chances here and there, smaller titles, maybe whatever, and then mm-hmm. of course k- keeping the big uh, money maker going. Um, they ha- they'll have would have thought the, no, no damn one, dude. fuck no uh, two, year, uh, uh, two years two years ago you sure. would have told me Fortnite was gonna be that. that's dude if we would have uh, laughed we would have been like dude the hell? freaking for it, it would it was a joke it was it sounded like a joke it is, yeah it is a joke yeah yeah, yeah. and now so it's all a joke man. the joke it's is on us the world we live in the, yeah yeah, yeah. Now, now, I've been saying world? I don't even want to talk about Fortnite anymore and I've just spent 20 minutes talking about fucking there you Fortnite go. Yeah. Uh, and that's not even the hot topic of the week God that's damn. not the hot topic of the week <laughs> we fooled you ha huh? <laughs> you've been listening for nothing uh, exactly uh, hot topic of the week time guys uh, this week's hot topic is not about Fortnite believe it or not no. uh, but what it is about it's about uh, should game companies curate their libraries that's what we're talking so what does this mean so what I mean to say is... The Webster Dictionary describes the term... Of <laughs> curating as, as uh, the being art selective, of being, yes. <laughs> essentially. Um, which, actually, that's exactly what it means. Um, yeah. So we all know that... Let's put it this way. We all, know, we all know Steam has been... No, you know what? We're going to go back even further. <laughs> I uh I uh iPhone what is it the the company oh the what the app the store? iTunes store the yeah, store the right app, the, the app store, store yeah the app store uh has a shitload of games <laughs> <laughs> to say a shitload is really understating that is <laughs> really. that is a mathematical equation that is difficult yes, to put in numbers it is impossible to find anything on there you can actually find mm. a fake copy of a game. More likely than finding the game you're wanting, <laughs> you know. What I mean? Funny how because you mentioned they, the App Store it, and not the Google Store. The, uh, oh no, no, Google Store is the same. Yeah, oh, no, it's the same. It might actually be worse at this point. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm just saying App Store because yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Apple. In but, <laughs> no, yeah, no, fuck but Apple. seriously, uh, mobile games. Okay, mobile, game. mobile games um, have had this problem for a long time. Anybody making a mobile game, good luck making yeah. money out of it because if you don't pay for somebody to promote it and in some sort of way it's going to come out and it's a drop in this it's a drop in the bucket yeah. it's not it never and now you have anything. fortnite to contend to. and on top of that fortnite's <laughs> on mobile so they yeah. hold it there brother yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. um so the well is dry the now. well is dry yeah. um early on in the playstation 4 uh, life cycle um i remember jim uh jim sterling hmm. uh actually appraising uh, uh sony for its cherry picking of Indie titles mm. that would come to the coming to the coming to the uh, to the PlayStation Store, and I remember going, "Yes, he's absolutely right. Y- you're getting, you know, you know that these games are coming out to PC and they're in Steam and, and GOG and all this stuff, um, but only the only the best of the best mm. were being picked by Sony to bring to their to their store, and at that time that was amazing because you had a great selection." Not an overwhelming selection, just a great selection of games, and you knew there were there were the top of the line. You know what I mean? Uh, fast four or five years <laughs> into the life cycle, and that is not the case anymore. And it hasn't been the case now for a few years, believe it or not. Uh, the doors are open for floodgates. anybody and everybody. Uh, yeah, we'll call them floodgates. <laughs> have been open. Um, games like. And I actually played this game because I lost a certain bet <laughs> to a certain gentleman that will remain nameless. Uh, uh, I played Life of Black Tiger. 
And wow. Yes. I apologize. I no, no. Hey, I, I, I apologize profusely. For I, no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. I yes, said I you are. Play, you so. have demonstrated <laughs> over and over. Godzilla also says hi. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so the, the point is to say that Godzilla game. yeah, the point is to say that not only was that on the net on the uh, P- PlayStation Network, mm. uh, it was also being promoted by Sony. <laughs> yes. And more and more of these games are coming out in just buttloads, dude. Okay. Just buttloads. Uh, Nintendo recently said that it wants to bring 20 to 30 games a week to the <laughs> Switch. <laughs> Why? <Yes. laughs> Why would you do this? Hey, so nobody can say there are no games on the Switch. I that's what again, this is an overcorrection. Yes. This is their saying, hey, last Wii U had nothing. Wii U was we were we were desperate to get anything on the Wii U console. <laughs> this everybody wants to be in the Wii U console. Let's bring them all in, yeah. everybody at once. Just get everybody on the Switch as quickly. As what now, game your game was released in two thousand seven? Ah, bring it I here. Bring it know, I'm sure that these people haven't played Final it. Fantasy seven and ten. Do it. Let's yeah, bring let's it. Yeah, it. yeah, sure. let's do it. Um, at the same time, yeah, all at the same time. <laughs> it's exactly. a gang bang of Final Fantasy games. That said, there there is a there is a, a, something you've said about that early on, and that it's, it's definitely not sustainable. Early on, a lot of developers were saying that they've released their games to Steam and they released it to PlayStation Four and Xbox, and they made more money when they released it to Switch. Mm-hmm. Why? Because Switch is new. You know, not many people have it. A lot. Of, well, Switch is new. A lot of uh, adoption. You know, a, yeah, a large, a, a adoption, large yeah. ado- adoption of it. Not a lot of not a lot of titles equals well. We grab what we, we can grab get. What we get. Yes, and you're and they were bringing over very very good titles yeah. on top of that. So there, there were some games that were released on Steam that were released on uh, on PlayStation on Xbox and on Switch. It was making like it two made or more three money times combined. more. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. combined yeah. that the whole. So obviously this is great for the developer, mm-hmm. but there is a saturation point. Yeah. Um. So curating essentially means. Should they go back to cherry picking? Uh, mm-hmm. Xbox did this early on in the Xbox Live days. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they do it now. I don't think they're doing. It now. No, <laughs> I don't sure, think anybody. I'm pretty sure now. the level of shit that comes to everything else is just coming to them as well <laughs> because just just the way shit works. Yeah. Um, what do you think about this? I think the 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 thing that uh, uh, Xbox and PlayStation uh, at one point uh, had, like you very well mentioned uh, uh, with with PlayStation, was that. Maybe they were receiving their shovelware crap, but they were not taking time to promote those. They had a lot of uh, summer of arcades, for example, in yes. the case of, of Xbox, and particular flash sales on 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 Sony's uh, platform, which highlighted this. You know, these are the five or you know the five or seven you know indie darlings that have been released. That you should consider uh, taking a look at, you yeah. know, and not ever, not all of them are gonna be. When we say they pick the best of the best, I mean, we don't mean it literally. In, yeah, yeah. They, they, they're, they're not, not always titles. the best ones. Yeah, they're gonna be like this. You're still gonna have their four from five <laughs> games out of ten, but yeah. Well, yeah. it was not. It, it was not as a flip crap, which is correct. What's happening on the Steam sto- uh, on the Steam store is that you're seeing. Uh, be- because it's because it's PC and, and it's an open platform, you see a lot of asset flips, and by asset flips it means uh, games where they, there's minimal to no effort whatsoever put into making because what they're literally using is uh, using the the training tools for this engine. Says usually is Unity engine because mm-hmm. Unity ha- Unity engine has. A store, a like a like a asset a store. store. Yeah. They, and they you pay, pay for someone, the assets. Yeah, yeah, you pay for the assets, and suddenly you can use them in in your games. Uh, so you will constantly see this 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 assets being used on different games. The same asset be used on different games, uh, made by people that really honestly have no skills. No game making skills. No, they're just putting just something meant, together. It's yeah, like putting, it's just meant to be an example yeah. of something. Yeah, it's, it's it's like getting a a, a game maker uh, you know, title, putting something real quick and and saving the, the executable up and and putting it to to the to to the Steam to the store. store. Mm-hmm. The, the Steam tried to a little bit. They they're not they were not gonna curate because at this point, understandably, but also. 
I almost want to un- give them the benefit of the doubt, but also they have so much money that I can't believe when they say they don't have the resources to do this, um, to curate the, ga- the games. Mm. So what they tried to do the instead is, yeah, to curate the libraries. So what they tried to do instead was, well, we're going to make a barrier level. Mm-hmm. But look how convenient it was for them. You're going to pay us. You're going to pay us a certain amount uh, when you submit your games. Just so that all those people that were just submitting shovel work crap suddenly found themselves, well, I don't want to pay, you know, say a thousand dollars just to submit, you know, because th- this is just this is just a joke game this, that exactly. I'm putting together. I want you to know, just make I'm back not, shit and, money. Yeah. And, and the people that are, that are serious about polishing their games, they will pay it, you mm-hmm. know. So, and, and of course, they're getting that revenue. Uh, the, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the answer was for them to, hey, yeah. how do we fix this and make money on yeah. it too? Yeah, yeah ex- ex- exactly. Yeah. Although I might be, and, and, I, and I'm sorry that I didn't check. I think I heard the mentionings uh, that you get that money back somehow. If the but game sells a certain amount, or yeah, it was a something goal. like that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was something along those lines. But, but still, the problem that with sense. that, yeah. the problem with that, with that is that I, I, I was all for it. Mm-hmm. I was completely on board with you know, you know, I didn't think it was going to be the solution, um, but I was okay with the idea of yeah, oh, people want to submit their games, or if they're serious about it, they're going to pay, right? So. But then a lot of people started throwing the oh, but you don't want to do that because uh, there's gonna be what about the the, the 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 one developer that is developing a really kick-ass game, but they don't have the resources to to put. Well, first of all, if they want to develop, if they know they have a kick-ass game and they and they have faith, you know, and they have faith in it, they will probably be open to putting an investment on it because they're investing on themselves basically. That that's my thought, you know. That's my, but that was obviously not what a lot of people thought about it. So they didn't want to make that barrier of entry too high. Too high, yeah. Because yeah, I believe that it was any, anywhere from a hundred dollars to five thousand dollars. A five thousand dollars sounds it it, it 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 sounds very harsh. Yeah. I think I personally would have been okay with it myself, but but then I'm not a developer. And I can see how that could be problematic. Maybe, maybe a thousand, mm-hmm. maybe a thousand dollars. Maybe a thousand dollars sounds like a legitimate am- am- amount to invest. But no, they made it the lowest possible. You know, and, and at that point, this really is not solving anything no. because the asset flippers, uh, as, as we call them, they have no qualms about paying a hundred dollars if they know. That they're almost guaranteed to get at least double that. At the very least, two hundred, you know, two hundred dollars yeah, of yeah. putting this shovelware crap so on the store because they're selling uh, it at a dollar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. It's hundred percent profit. Yeah. So, uh, so they don't care about that. So, so that's the that that that, that is the problem that 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 Steam it, it, it's is facing. And, and and I feel like in the in the cases of the consoles, it, the consoles because because their um their ecosystem is. A little bit more complex to develop for. Mm-hmm. You, you, you need to have a developer kit, yep. you know, buy the developer kit, and, and all that, and all that stuff. I feel like that alone, a that alone makes it uh, hard for asset flippers and all yeah, these guys exactly. to get you into. Don't so see that a actually, lot of asset yeah, flippers that does actually any. help. Yeah. Um, that said, that doesn't stop the ones who are like, yeah, we spent. You know, a year and a half on this game, we spent this amount of money. We mm. we got to we got to put it out at some point. So let's mm. let's just get it certified. All it has to do on on PlayStation Network. I mean, I don't. I assume the same thing for Xbox. But mm. all it has to do on PlayStation Network is run yeah. and run fine. Yeah, that's all it has to do. Doesn't have to be good. Just yeah. needs to run fine. And <laughs> just need not to crash the system. The and it also it also does not. It cannot in any way uh, uh, make it so that you can earn a. A, a platinum trophy easily, you know. That's yeah, about right. that's the, the only barrier of entrance for the for the <laughs> games on PlayStation Network. Um, so, yes, you do eliminate a lot of the like extreme garbage, mm. but you still have a you still have a, a, a still have influx a of, of a yeah. lot of a, a lot of junk. Um, I <laughs> I actually I, and every so often uh, I was I don't do it anymore, but I was looking at the drop. So mm. PlayStation Blog has. The drop, and it's a uh, it's basically every week tells you what the games are coming out for that week. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, this has gotten expen- ex- exponentially bigger uh-huh. every week for years now. It's gotten to the point where 
I don't know any of these things. I'm like, who, why? And and this is coming from someone, me personally, who I follow a, a specific uh, indie game uh, channel on YouTube, which specifically picks out the best of the, the best of the best or the, the most promising uh, of indie games that are coming, right? Each week, each month, in whatever case it be. I'm always on that channel, and I know about these. these this is why when sometimes I'm mentioning the game to somebody, goes, I know I've never heard yeah. of that shit. You know what I mean? Sounds made up. And even then, mm. I don't not heard of any of these shits here. Okay, <laughs> yeah. and here they come in 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 abundance. Yeah, it's ridiculous how much they're coming. Uh, they're coming out, and on top of that, like I said, the other the other main issue is the switch. The Switch is new to the game. Why is and Nintendo used to have the seal of approval, the seal seal yeah. of, of quality or whatever it was. Seal of quality, I think it was called. Seal, seal of quality. Seal of quality yeah. Which ever since the GameCube days have been nothing. Let's oh, be yeah, real. Uh, but, realistically, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um but that said, it's just it's become it's become too much. And mm-hmm. the worst part is there are gems, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. that are great. They get lost. They, there's just they're, they're, you're not going to find them. You're not going to know about just them. Just like and, in an app store or a Google store, it's correct. they're going to be those the, you know those gems that unless it's discovered by word of mouth by someone, if it's not trending, it's just going to be buried in, in the mountain of shovelware crap. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, I wanted to, if you were okay with this, mm-hmm. <laughs> go through next week's drop. Next uh-huh. week, uh, the the games for the week of the eight or uh. The seventeenth, technically seventeenth of September, uh, and you just tell me just, you so heard, that, just so you can get an an idea of what's coming to PlayStation Four, mm. uh, and this is these are real games. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making <laughs> this up at all. These are real games. These are real games uh, coming out actually on the twenty first of uh, of that week. Eight uh, bit armies. All uh, right, that sounds very generic. That sounds very oh, yeah. generic. Yes, uh, another game. This is on uh, digital only. Anodyne. Anodyne? Anodyne, yes. All right. It is, uh, I'm not sure what it is. It looks really bad. <laughs> uh, Blind, which is a PlayStation VR game. <laughs> uh, also digital. Capcom beat em up bundle. <laughs> okay. Capcom. 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 Yeah, Capcom beat em up bundle. Hey, I recognize Capcom. I do too. So. How come I don't know about this game? <laughs> no, exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, Does another, Capcom know about this game? I, I don't think they do. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised because no one knows about these games. Yeah. They're easily you could just these are these are probably acid flips from <laughs> from stolen <laughs> assets. Street like, Fighter <laughs> assets. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh <laughs> The Door, which is a PlayStation VR game. The door. Downward spiral Horus Station. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, who knows what that is? <laughs> oh, it, it, actually I do know what this is. Fishing Sim World. Okay. <laughs> Fishing. The Gardens Between. That sounds very frou frou It is frou frou can Just from the cover, it looks frou frou oh, <laughs> I'm yeah, not going to lie. Uh, ho- hover, Revolt of Gamers. Revolt of okay. Gamers. Yeah, Hover, colon, Revolt of Gamers. <laughs> uh, Labyrinth of Refrain, colon, Coven of Dust. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? This is what I'm saying. So this is starting to sound like... <laughs> Okay. Okay. First, okay. Is, is there more? Even, uh, oh, there's a few more. Okay. Uh, Legendary okay. fishing. Which, uh-huh. That's actually an established series. So it is. My brother rabbit, which but I, this is actually one of the ones that I saw on that particular. See, you do know. I do know you this do know, one. Sorry. Yeah. I do, well, I only know this one on this <laughs> list for the record. Neon wall. Okay. All right. Uh, RGX showdown. Do you know what an RGX is? Uh, retrograde. Something <laughs> nice, actually. Hey, you were close there. Uh, Scribble Knots Mega Pack. Hey, I know Scribble Knots. I do know. I also know uh, Scribble Knots. Didn't hear anything about this. Uh, <laughs> Speed Brawl, Splody, and Splody. Toon War. And Toon War. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Trickster VR. Oh, yeah, shit. Yes, you almost forgot. I almost forgot. The gem of the titles. Yes. Warface. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. All right. So let me tell you what this sounds like. So at one point, the, you know how Nintendo used to have, uh, you know, it's it's official third party yes, developed. Yeah. And then they oh, use the that. Ultra Games one? The unofficial <laughs> ones. The very unofficial ones. Not yes. even Ultra Games. Uh, at least Ultra Game was a legitimate company. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there was those uh, gray market, you know, video games that they will sell you. There was one in particular that I was actually made. Here in Florida, for the NES, it's called Actions Fifty Two. 
Action 52 had offered 52 games, and it was titled just like those games that you were mentioning, yes, with exactly. a few exceptions that of, of you know well, titles that we that we know. It was sort of like that, and they were all utter garbage, if not literally broken. You could not play them because they will crash your Nintendo. <laughs> so the, this a, is what this is sounding like. Exactly. The only difference is. Obviously, these are these have to pr- pass the certification, so yeah. they obviously do run. They They're probably to not going to yeah. crash. No. That said, you're probably not going to want to play these for very long. Okay, <laughs> um, and this is just Sony. <laughs> obviously, uh, Xbox is going to have probably a lot of these well, I mean, and yes. their own ver- and their own whatever uh, sp- uh, special ones. Nintendo's going to have the same thing. It's just, dude, it's 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 unsustainable. Well, here's, here's the thing, but. This is a difficult problem to tackle because, yes, I believe uh, trying to you can't judge games on on good on be oh this is this is a good game therefore this I mean you could but you will have the 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 the, the curating process for that will be in some vulnerable. Also, not to mention you can't really curate games judge for art. being good. Judge exactly you can't judge art exactly so. Uh, so I understand the position of well, if this runs and it doesn't crash the system, then that's all that we that we can ask because this might look like crap, but there's someone in this universe that will appreciate this. I know you're it's far fetched. You're probably I know right. it's very far fetched. You're probably right, but the the and and it's it's capturing every little bit of money. Obviously, yeah. so there's going to be. Oh yeah, they're I, making money out of it. I assume there's going to be people buying this game even if it's yeah. only a hundred people yeah but buy this game the point is they're gonna buy it and guess what sony's gonna make money off of it so and that's I a marketplace get, at the end of the day it is it know. is a marketplace um but i think the best part of playstation 4 was its original two years the first two years 2013 or i guess technically 2014 2014 and 2015 those were the best years of sony when it came to because lately they've been very they're not the same company they were in, mm. in the beginning as far as PlayStation 4. Well, question. Could it be could it be just because of the growth? Because of the fact it was the it first is. two years? Oh, yeah. There it were not a, a lot of games. There were not a lot of games oh, no. on the store they for were, the crap they, to get, you know, to, to... Oh, I mean, I don't know. I think there were always a lot of games. I mean, but then they were very selective. What was It, it felt like they were... Because there was, there was a lot of games coming to, to Steam. And, and all these mm. things were available at the time. Um, and they yeah. were working games, but they weren't available immediately on on the uh, consoles. Mm. Um, and that can that can be several things. That could be because the developer didn't have the means to port it over or anything like that. Um, but that said, it just felt like yes, you had less available games, mm. but every or the majority of the games were good. And I think we're I think we're reaching a point now where you got to be. In order for you to actually be out there and all that, you got to be more than good. You can't just be good. Mm. You have to be more than good. Uh, and when you have when you have all of this, you have to be mm. great in order to stand out. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's gotten to the point where so much is coming out um, that it, I th- I think it's it's it literally going to almost choke itself a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we go back to how how can they tackle this? You know, the, the, this this problem. Look at something like Steam. In, in in the case of Steam, there's so many games coming in that their solution was to, okay, it's still got to be automated, but we're going to put a, a, a barrier of entry. They okay. unfortunately made it low. So the fix, what would the fix be? So, well, no, I ask you, honestly. My point is that it no, would no, be... No, I'm saying. You're asking me what the fix would be. Right, right, yeah, yeah. okay. So yeah. What the, would you propose for the, the, proposal, the council? The propo- okay, so we'll go with the council. The proposal I have is this. One, you have a select limit of games that you're going to release on your uh, 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 console for that week. Okay, this will exclude first party. Obviously, you're not going to say, "Hey, we already have a first party come out. We're not. We're going to eliminate the slot." So, my point is to say, let's say you have. And this is just random numbers. Let's say you have five games. You you five slots. Right, so we're gonna release five games this week. It'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. One game a week, but one game every every day. Right? This is just again rough numbers. Um, you have the the developers come in, show you the game, let it play, make sure whatever, see what it is, and then you have sort of a, a group of gamers 
not executives, okay? Some, you know, maybe from the PlayStation blog and every because these a lot of these guys come from gaming backgrounds and go, okay, from these, you almost follow say, hey, this is good, this is good, whatever. And then you, your top five, those are the five that come that week. Uh, y- okay. Y- y- now wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, like I said, it does not get affected by, and yes, I know this is going to be very unfair to a lot of these other developers who are probably not going to get their game release but the point is to say not that it's not going to get released the point is that we maybe eventually make it to it just not this particular week mm. you know it, it can be something that gets shelved it's like i can see where you guys are at but you're not where you need to be yet you know work on it more whatever the case may be and i know if i know this sounds very selective very unfair um but it's like that's how that's that's how one will curate your library to say this is what's coming out this way. And again, it doesn't get affected by AAA. So in other words, if for instance, um, I don't know, God of War two, all right, comes out that week, that doesn't eliminate a slot. Mm. God of War is still going to come out the week. It's still going to be five slots. You're and hey, you are taking the chance of coming out this week with God of War. But that said, sometimes, sometimes, uh, oh, <laughs> sir, congratulations. Uh-huh. You just described Steam Greenlight <laughs> <laughs> to the T. <laughs> really? Yes. I didn't think that that was the case with uh, Steam Greenlight. Yeah, thought, okay. you literally described Steam Greenlight was <laughs> it was exact. So th- this is this is how really, this I is how you have the games. Okay, yeah. this is how you have the 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 mind. This is how you know you have the mind to be in this industry. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly that idea you just described. Okay, this it worked the but exact same it, way. But how much? How many games were it? The, no, it was also it was also a, I don't remember it's the specific amount, but I do remember it being selected by the you know by by the gaming community. No, 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 not the gaming community. An actual like like Sony is going to have a team of people who will make the selection. Not the that, community. That will be that's community based. This will be, <laughs> hey guys who know who 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 are in the know uh-huh. and 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 who work in the industry and whatever you guys know the type of games whatever, whatever you guys are gonna do it and you are a part of Sony doing this. This is not. I don't, I don't know. Not community I, based. This, this is this. How, this even sounds worse because now no, I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. Because now you ha- you basically have a governing. A, yes. a governing entity. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. You, you have you have established a government. It is, it's, no, no government. it's not a standard government. Um, that on is, the, that the is essentially what curating is. You yeah. you need a team of people to select yeah. to select what within the five. And then here's the deal. Yeah, they don't even have to say we don't want this one. They will say, you know, that you can present them all. And you pres- and you give them an order. It's for, oh, from these eighteen that I have, this is the order that I think a this is really judges. good. Whatever. Yeah. And then. You know, okay, well, everybody put in there. Let's say there's 10 of them, mm. and they everybody put in that of these 18 games, this were from the best to the worst. Uh-huh. The top five are the ones that come in. That's it. That's, they don't that's, even have to know whatever. They just say, This is whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. no, there's a, there's an aspect of it. There is an aspect of it that's uh, not chance, but, but completely it's random. It's fair. Yes. It's fair in the sense that you're not picking this because you, you can pick it if you want it, but. Everybody kind of has to pick it also in order for it to make the top five. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's what that's this exactly will make what I mean. a ki- this will make a killer uh, contest uh, game. <laughs> Con- <laughs> like one like the Survivor. What you call those? Uh, what what you call those type of programming? The Survivor. The, you know, so you know, Survivor. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I got you. Um, oh. Reality TV. The reality, yeah, yeah, yeah. this will make great reality TV. It could, it's, yeah. it's like, the, hey, they can, they might even present it on yeah, the, sure. yeah, on the, on the PlayStation platform as a series. Yes. You know, yeah, it could be for for, for you something. are not the next game. This You're week. not. The- <laughs> <laughs> so um, yes, this is just because <laughs> it brings a point. Like I, I, I'm a big proponent that that there should be all top. You know. When I say all, all type of all type of game genres mm-hmm. and uh, type of games, and in the sense of well, censorship, for example, they yeah. shouldn't be like I don't believe in in censor like just like you wouldn't censor a book. I mean, if you have a a a, a library, a particular library on a school, yeah, you're not gonna put porn magazines. I get that. True. You know, yeah, I, I get that. And, and sensible I, censorship yeah, yeah. E- e- exactly a lot, yeah at that point 
more than sense was logical, you logical, know. Logical, yeah. But uh, I, I, I like the fact I heard recently that Steam, because Steam at some point was did not know what the hell to do with adult games. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. They, do we allow them? Do we not allow them? Do we allow them? But they need to be patched. And do we allow them to put new patches on it? It was it was Is there crazy. A DLC that we include where if you pay yeah. a little bit more, you get to see more boobage. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. This is actually one of the pieces of, of, of news that I kind of wanted to say for the for 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 this topic, mm-hmm. and it was the fact that Steam uh, approves 100% uncensored adult games now. Mm-hmm. So uh, so it, which which was completely a different from what they used to be before. Now that brings a concern: Are we gonna see? Games that 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 treat uh, adult con- con- content, um, what, well, how is tastefully? Yeah, likely not. Let's well, be real. Yeah. Let's I mean, be, you'll probably have, have a few, but for the most part, maybe. you're gonna have a lot of uh, le- leisure leisure suit Larrys. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, leisure. See, leisure suit Larry is the perfect example of. Even if the game is not great, the game is yeah, not great. Yeah. But uh, it's a perfect example of a game where it uses nudity, yes, but that's not the selling. That's not the main main. Well, that's not one of the. No, that's not the that. only selling point, right? There's humor on it. There is writing. There is there, Those are there all is a game behind it. Though. Yeah, but there is a there is behind all that. There is still a proper game, whether you like it, you know, or, or it's our favorite type of game or not. That is different from. Oh, we're gonna make a match three game where as you're matching threes, the girls are getting naked, mm-hmm. you know, or the guys are getting naked, you know. The, it, so it, it's 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 that mm-hmm. it's the, one of them is just mud for some mud's sake. The other one is uh, a game that has a, 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 a that, that has gameplay elements that are not just hey, look at the pretty naked lady. So wouldn't a curating uh, team that I just uh, envisioned mm. a moment ago for the uh, consoles. Wouldn't something like that work in this case? Like, all right, we'll, oh, for we'll, sure. yeah, we'll allow it, but we're going to be a little selective as to what it Because obviously if you're just smut for smut's sake, yeah. nah. No, for, but, for, for, yeah, for actual for, game, that includes yeah, a little smut. For, sure. Except that I don't see it on Steam. I don't no, see how Steam many on Steam, too, unfortunately, Steam because too, the floodgates are just way well, too big and open. Just, just the, <laughs> the platform, the platform itself doesn't let itself to censor. No, of but course not. Either. For all the 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 um, Steam will be like the I don't want to call it the public library because again, it's not like the public <laughs> the public library. Yeah, we can almost say that in the sense yeah, that yeah. the public library where it might have their areas where it's like I hey, mean, technically, is, technically, you can get porn in the public library. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's exactly. Impossible. It's hey. It, that, and and then the consoles will be like the library's a school. This is a this is allowed, but up to just a certain levels because Correct, yeah. we don't want to get itself. And I under, and 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 I and I get that. You know, I I, I definitely get that. Uh, yeah, I think if I if it's something like that that could operate uh, with. <laughs> A, a judge of a panel of judges, you know, not judges, that just more but that's what they're doing. Yeah, I guess that's that, true. That, that's that's yeah. what they're doing at the end. Uh, I it, think it I think what work. that would do is first, it eliminates a lot of the crap. Yeah, and secondly, it also forces to me, mm-hmm. in 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 a respectful way, depending on how it's presented to the developer, it forces certain developers to say, "Guys, we got a good idea here. It's not ready yet." We right. need to work more on this, yeah. and we'll bring it back to them. And when you bring it back, and you have a more complete picture, perhaps you, you, you perhaps you make the cut. The problem is that you know what I mean. The games nowadays are showing that you don't need to have a complete package in order to sell. That's so true. you know, unfortunately, it's it's like, well, where did that fall that's, under? Well, that exactly, yeah. That that's yes that's another ripple mm. or another wrinkle in the uh in the issue and unfortunately triple a titles can get away with that but they also have yeah. the money to do so so yeah you know obviously a lot of these little titles or smaller unheard of whatever yeah unfortunately you don't have the money to get away yeah. with that so fix your shit and then we'll release it oh, <laughs> or say I mean? sony uh or microsoft were to implement uh the, the 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 panel of judges uh, uh to to 
give it a name. Uh, <laughs> what is uh, who's there to say that that the major AAA companies could bypass that by you know paying an entry fee? You know, <laughs> and hey, if they're paying an entry fee, they they are. I'm sure it's because they they have confidence that whatever it is that they're offering is good. Yeah, it's good enough. It doesn't need to be checked by the panel of judges. Perhaps. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, something maybe Perhaps like absolutely, that. but that's going to have to be a hefty fee. Can't just be a hundred bucks because yeah, no, if that's exactly. the case, then everybody's going to be like, then "Well, fuck, I'll pay hundred bucks steam again, all, yeah. you know, all over again." Exactly. Um, so yeah, I think uh, person. I think in the end, we both agree. Yes, they should curate to an extent, at yeah. least, uh, some of that because it's going to get ridiculous. And more and more companies are just going to fucking start closing down because they're like, "Well, shit, none of our shit's fucking moving because." We're getting, you know, well, c- curate, buried. Curate, curate and censor is not the same. No, no, no. And I don't mean censor at all. Yeah. I'm not referring to that. I'm just seeing cherry picking stuff that you want in your marketplace because mm-hmm. this is the type of uh, product that will highlight your your, your marketplace your market, overall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Which Sony was always great with when it came to those, you know, weird little Japanese titles that, yeah, they're odd. Maybe not everybody's going to play them. But they were good. They were. I mean, think of Killer Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Ki- Street. Was 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 were you was was that one on PS3 that was like Tokyo Street or something like that? It was basically a Google map of of, of Tokyo, and you played like a superhero. You were uh, you were rescuing. Yes, people. rescuing people. Yeah, I don't remember. People. It wasn't called Tokyo Street, but I know you saw it. Oh, wasn't it Last Man? The or? last. The last, yeah, it was yeah, something, something weird like that. Yeah, where basically you were the you last were, superhero, the last yeah. man <laughs> sure, standing, we'll whatever it. is it. Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, but uh, but yeah, so post overall, it. I think, post it. yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they'll find. But now it. it's killing me. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, I think we both agree that it should be maybe not take my steps. I don't know, but I mean, take them though. You know, jot them no, down. that no, that that that's a good because because what I was saying is. Uh, you know, green uh, green light mm-hmm. was basically that idea, except that the judges were, were we, it was not beholden to five selected, you know, to to five I mean, judges. I, again, it I was, was just throwing numbers. No, no, I know. Five. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, selected by the gaming community because if because ideally you want to you want to think that well, is 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 the gamers themselves? Let them pick what they want to buy. But the problem That's, with that is the that the problem with that is what we mentioned a few podcasts back is. They don't know what they want. No, yeah, <laughs> and, and and it becomes yeah. and, and suddenly becomes a popularity contest. Correct, and it can be manipulated. Easily. And not to say that the judges cannot be manipulated. The the, the judges cannot be manipulated. That's why you yeah. have, you got to okay. be selected. So here's what you do: you make a panel of five judges that will pick the five judges <laughs> that will go. <laughs> in, uh, uh, on, nice. On the, <laughs> problem solved. Problem solved. And you know what? We just fixed the damn uh, library issues. Good. Put it there. Get it Congratulations. There. Absolutely. Problem right. fixed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Tune in next week as we fix loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> here's, what you, here's a tip. You make a game about nothing but loot boxes. <laughs> That's all you do, <laughs> and you pay just to open loot boxes. That's, That's it. it. Yeah, yep. it's genius. Fixed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that brings us to the end of an awesome episode 125, the real 125. Thanks so much again uh, for tuning in. Please go to goodgame.tech. Join the conversation there. And please like, subscribe to share and share the podcast with everyone. Uh, this is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog, signing off for this week. Mr. David Santos, what do you have for us? As one of the judges of gaming in general, I just want to say GG and good night. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. GG.